Bill. And welcome to Scrapathon, where we use our scraps. I need a Scrapathon song, actually. It's 11 a.m. Eastern, 11.01 now. You know? and, but who's here? Let's see who's here this morning. It's the morning where we are. It is the morning time. So let's see who's in the craft room. Let's see who is in the craft room. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Let's see who is in the crafty room. Mm -mm. <laughs> ah. Let's see. I don't see your comments right now. Let's see what's going on. DX says she is almost ready for Scrapathon. I've got a lot of scraps, y'all, but um, <laughs> we're gonna see what I what what I use, okay? Because there's a lot of stuff in here, and it's a beautiful, bright, and sunny day today too. So I I got like a whole bunch of scraps over to the side, and that's okay. That's okay. Let's we can we can use you know we can use some of them. We could use part of them. We could use all of them. We got we're gonna be on here till three o'clock. So it's okay to take a break, y'all. If you want to take a break, you don't have to like be on the entire time unless you absolutely want to. So let's see who's in. Let's see who's on here right now. Straighten up my camera. It's nice and sunny outside, so we got, it looks good in here. Good morning. Aunt Terry, you're still moving stuff. My goodness. Let me move some of my stuff out the way right here in my craft room. I was cleaning up last night. Okay, good. Someone's doing cards that they're going to do during the Scrapathon. Let's see what else y'all are going to be doing. Let me make sure my phone is secure on here. Seems a little bit shaky. Huh. Okay, y'all, let me just make sure my stuff falling down. Okay, so we got paper beads to do and we've got paper tassels. Great way to use up scraps doing the paper tassels. Have I done them before? Absolutely not. <laughs> Jesse Bonnie Hammond says, I love Absolutely to hear a happy not. person in the morning. Absolutely not. Wish I was a morning person. Well, it's morning and you're here. So I guess that means you're a morning person, Bonnie. Oh, nice. I'm I'm stamping sentiments on spring labels. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm going to do a, a paper bag journal. Wow. That's awesome because we have we have this time together. <laughs> I'm so glad we have this time together. Just to craft along or sing a song. Y'all know the rest of the song and how it goes. <laughs> the ex says she's going to be using scraps when she uh, does a paper bag journal. Oh, nice. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun one. So these tassels, y'all, I'm determined to make these tassels because you could actually add them onto the spine of your journal also. Hi, Darla. Hey, Darla. Darla says your voice is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Darla might be a relative in the family somewhere it's down the line. It's my library story time voice. This is Joy Brown. And I had my coffee, so I'm good to go. I got my bottled water. Keep my voice clear in, in case we decide to do some singing during Scrapathon. Because who says we can't sing? The crafting police. 
The singing police, right? No, only the crafting police. Because you are number one. What are you doing singing? Crafting so much fun. You're fired. Come craft with me. Come sing with me. Crafting so much fun. Especially when you're in the sun. See, you didn't, you didn't expect me to say I that. I did huh? not. <laughs> I was wondering what he was going to come up with. I was coming up with something. Because Cindy Piper is here. Crafting without fear. What you know about that? Oh, there you go. It was like absolutely nothing. You know. <laughs> what do you know about that? Joy Brown says, I brought my friend Donna with me today. We're making cards today together. Hey, Joy Brown and Hi, Donna. Donna. How nice to have a crafty friend with you. Donna's like, look, don't be saying my name out loud like that. Joy said, don't, don't be embarrassing me in front of my friend. <laughs> Y'all over there shouting me out. Okay, let me let me cut Brian some of these. Dickey's early. Brian Dickey is early to the party. Peace Talk with Lynn says he's ready to get some of these scraps out of here. Cleaned up my room this morning so I can start fresh. Now to mess it up all again. Now to mess it all up again, right? Is this too small? Is this too small to keep, y'all? You want me to answer that? I'm, I'm not asking you. I'm asking. <laughs> I'm not asking. I will be happy. Don't, my opinion. Don't you dare ask Bill. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you dare, dare ask, ask Bill. Bill. You'll have you me better, throw my scraps away. You better ask Bill. I'm not going to ask him to stay. You better <laughs> ask Bill. <sighs> okay, so let me let me go ahead and try to make these, okay? So when you're trying to make a paper tassel, this should work, right? It's a smaller piece. Am I measuring it? No, but if you want me to, I will. Uh, but I'm just gonna pull up some pieces and start making some of these little tassels and hopefully it comes out cute. That's about five, a little over five, like five and one eighth. Lynn says no scrap is too small. This one is too. Lynn! You're fired. You're my type of person. <laughs> Don't mess with Lynn. No, 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 no. Don't let. Mm. Don't less with me. Don't <laughs> less with, with, with men. <laughs> Don't less with men. No, 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 no. And so it's begun, right? <laughs> the next Scott says, in addition to being excited about Scrapathon, she's loving her spring kit. Oh, nice. Look, this is the paper. From the spring kit, um, so I'm I'm going to cut up to about here, right? Because I need this little sp part here when I'm starting to form my um. You know what? Look, this has a little cut in it. That has a little bit of a cut in it. Oh boy, let's let's see if we can tape that up because I'm not throwing I'm not cutting that down anymore. Let me let me see if I can have some tape to cover that up. I was getting ready to go be on a roll. Okay. Don't you mess with Lynn. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. Y'all going to have a lot of songs stuck in your head today. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of songs stuck in your head. Just saying. Sophia Springer's at work watching. Nice. I'm telling somebody. Oh, I see y'all posting in the group. Y'all posted your um your stadium your stadium cards in the group. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all are doing a great job. Function of light one, you know what I'm saying? All I did was I just put a little bit of tape over this because I do not want to lose this little scrap of paper. And so I'm just making these little tassel-like things, okay? And I'm just cutting... About to here, leaving just a little bit at the top. You see that? 
just leaving a little bit at the top because I need to be able to roll it. Got to be able to roll it, so. Carrie Wood says, yeah, I have someone to listen to while I quilt a baby quilt. Oh, wow. Carrie. Go do it. Functional One told Sophia Springer, who's at work watching, that your priorities are definitely on point. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's watching from work. We won't tell. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> Somebody's watching from work. Hi, Marilyn Montfort. Even Beanie Freak is here early. What? We got, we got everybody. Give me thumbs up myself. The, coming up Something in the I always room. forget to do. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to. Now, look, y'all don't sit here for four hours and just not move yourself away from the screen. Take your lunch break, bathroom break. We'll, we got till four o'clock. And some people say, oh, my goodness, you're on for four hours. That's a long time. Not for us. <laughs> Just sitting and visiting with friends today. Hoping that this tassel comes out right. So you see that? There's no, like, really measuring to see, like, oh, I got to measure it to make sure um, that it's, it's okay, right? So... Um, Let's see what I got here. The rolling part here. Let's see. <laughs> Bill, do you know what I'm doing? I have no idea. There you go. Makes sense then, babe. Can't hear talking about am I glad that I'm rehired? <laughs> when was he fired? You know. Was it that other day? That's a long unemployment period. <laughs> Vicky Jensen is here. Vicky, I am so happy you're here. Your absence, I thought, uh, I thought. Um, so I'm putting it on this skewer and I'm rolling it just to get it started. And I'm trying to keep this very even. Okay. That is the mission is to keep that even. Vicky. And I'm just going to put some glue on here every so so often. This is my first tassel. Vicki, I thought Stephanie Williamson was going to just lose her mind. You weren't here. She was, she really missed you Aww. along with the rest of us. Love it. So you're forming your tassel. I'm using a skewer. You could probably do this with it. And I'm just putting this in right here because I just want that top part to be rounded. Right, so every so often, add a little bit of glue. And if you want to use like um, maybe something like this, uh, permanent uh, tape runner, you could do that too. Crystal says, Tuesday's live had my head hurting. She was laughing so hard. <laughs> ah. Ah, Tuesday <laughs> was funny. We had a couple of people saying, I went in and... <laughs> They uh, says Bill out the doghouse. Mm. He comes out the doghouse as soon as the live is over. You know. Vicky <laughs> uh, says, "Don't need to worry. Worry, she's had a busy week." Oh, Teresa de amigo. So you see the tassel forming, y'all. Do you see the tassel tasseling? I'm gonna be so excited because it's my first one. So I'm really excited. Vicky says she watched it later and was laughing out loud. You were laughing? <laughs> ah. Sophia Springer says, don't worry, she's watching, but she she has her tremor in paper. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of tape right here just to get it to just stick all the way. Look at that. Remove, and there it is. DFC. There it is. 
paper tassel tasseling. Now we're going to put something along the top here, right, to make the little, um, what do you call it? The little, I guess, hook for the tassel. It's amazing the stuff you can make out of, um, it's amazing. Stuff you can make out of paper is just, okay, so I don't even know how long I'm going to cut this part. But the tassel is tasseling. First tassel done. Using my scraps. Um, Ava Lee, I find it. Vicki Jensen says uh, it's BD Penny on. She was trying to get off her live so she could join. Let me see what Ava Lee said back here. Let me back up. Hi, Kathleen Jackson. I probably don't need this to be this long like that. Um, Emily, I don't see you. Just because the tassel is tasseling. I don't see it, Emily. And I just want a little bit of a hook thing to come right along here. Ooh. I need this to be stronger, though, so I'm going to fold it in half. But I just want to see how long I really want this to be. I and want it to come says, right up here and like this. The husband says a quilling tool would, would probably be handy to roll. Look at on. that. Oh, I mean, if you have one, by all means, use it. Oh, okay, Darla. Darla says she, that's what she heard about us was at Biddy Penny's Live. Oh, nice. Well, thanks well, for coming see over. Here, Darla Phillips from Bill and Tracy Phillips. Thanks for joining us. Well, it's in all caps. Let me go back and look, Ava Lee, and we'll look one more time. Ava Lee screaming at us. Okay, <laughs> I missed it right here. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a little piece off here. I'm actually going to double this because I want it to be um, sturdy when I add it on there. And maybe I need to go ahead and plug in my glue gun. Might as well plug it in now. Sally P. Sheila Overstreet. It's a rainy day in New Hampshire. Perfect day. I don't see it, Avery. To be chilling and crafting. It's in caps, baby. It's, no, it's not. I don't. It, oh. I don't see it. It is in all caps. Okay, okay. but when I go back, you're moving fast. No, no, no. I can't even see. I'm no, moving fast. No, no. <laughs> I can't see it. That's too much work for me. I'm okay. looking like four times. Let me keep on crafting. I'll go all the way to the very top. And I'm back here. Look, I'm all the way up here now. Hey, really, you got to type it again. No, Darla. We don't do it every Saturday. The scrap of time is... Uh, it's kind Darla, of the response is... No, 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 no way. No, no, no way. <laughs> no, 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 no way. I'm crafting on Saturday. Except today. <laughs> Every so often. Uh, we try to do it once a month. Donna Sadler says, I can't find it either, Ava Lee. Ava Lee. Kathleen Jackson, I do understand. Kathleen says, I'm feeling pretty good. I got a shot in my knee that has me up and walking much better. Kathleen, oh, nice. I understand. When it comes time and I get close to needing the shot, I'll walk to the VA, okay? On one leg. Because I only get it in one knee, but I need it. Y'all, I've got a straight tutorial coming, y'all, for that. Um, y'all been asking uh, for that, um, the stadium card, the stadium wave card. Y'all have been asking, so I'm, I think I'm going to hot glue this on. I might. Let's see how this works with the art glitter glue. But y'all have been asking for that card, and I, now I've got a couple of people asking if there is a way to do it in um, uh, an A2 size. So that's coming. So I have everything cut out for the tutorial for the 
just a straight tutorial because that tutorial was that live was very long. OK, so thanks for all of y'all hanging in there. But I need to do a straight tutorial on that card. So. Oh, and I did add I, I guess I need to show y'all what it looked like. The end result for that. OK, so this gives it a little bit of a hook right around there. So that'll be your hook. I double the paper to give it that little bit of a um, hook for the tassel. Okay. This is more sturdier than I thought. Linda Hopper says, Tracy, did you open your gift? I sure did. Linda. It was awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to do like a, a live with Happy Mail Live just to show some of the stuff that y'all have made for me. Past and present, because y'all have, I mean, there's some, that thing is amazing. Linda Huffman got off. My okay. goodness. You did not come to play, Linda. Definitely going to have to, um, definitely going to have to do something with, <laughs> Crystal, show y'all that. Crystal, they have a great VA location down here now. Down by, by Cops. Parkway is like Hills Ferry and something like that. It is they just built it. It's incredible. Now I'm gonna put this on here, y'all. Let's see if it works. This is the um this is the uh that tape from from Dollar Tree. This is that glitter ribbon rather from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna just cut this and why can't I put it around my tassel, right? Who says I can't? Just like this to give it a little bit of bling. Oh, a a just like that. She says, Tracy, I posted the cow ice scooper. I saw it in the um in the group. I sure did see it. Oops, I got stuff flying away. Okay, so the VA on Cobb Parkway. Yep, Bill said it's really nice over there. I haven't gone over there with him. Yeah, you just have to go way down Roswell Road. But the one they built now is the Cobb Parkway, kind of by Bell's Ferry. It is large. It, it's not as large as the one in uh, Decatur, the main branch, but it's really nice. It offers an awful lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm just letting this dry a little bit. And for those of you that did not get the newest stamp set, that mom one. Um, thank you, mom. The thank you, thank you, mom is almost uh, out. Sold out. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link in there. So get get your. Uh, and it's available in photopolymer and digital. It's available in digital. I'm going to put up the photopolymer link right quick. Donna, look Donna how, beat me to the punch. Look man. how cute that is. Let's see if that stays on. If not, I could always use... I got my um, glue gun on... Um, on oh. standby. by. Well, Emily said it again. Let me go find it. Abelie, I'm gonna show you what I see, Abelie. I see laugh out loud, then immediately laugh out loud, Tracy. Sorry. Um let's see. Let's see. Tracy, I posted the cow ice scoop. Oh, wait a minute. Then I see Bill, you miss it again. I rewrote it in all caps. Oh, is it about the? I don't ice know. Scooper? I don't. I don't see the actual message in caps. See, the, I see this, this, then I see this. That might be the message. <laughs> Tracy, I posted the cow ice scooper. That might be the message. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you know what? Now, Vicky said, "Where's Stephanie?" <laughs> Remember last week? It's like <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie's like, "Where's Vicky?" Hi, Pat Kelly. 
Fat Kelly says, hello to both of you, a new subscriber. Been watching you for eight Hi. months. Where you been hiding, Pat? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Pat. Pat's been Who hiding. Talk? Pat, eight months. Pat, look, next, you don't feel like talking. Next time you come <laughs> in, just type a one. Pat, you're okay. Just go one, and I'll say, oh, there go Pat. We love you, Pat. Pat, so I ain't typing in no one. <laughs> on, on TV, come on. All she can do is type in a one. That's okay. She did more than a lot of people didn't type in a one. So now I can hang it from something, right? It can go on one of these little, you know. I don't see. Oh, the... you know what? I could put this. I could put this on. So you can hang it from your, dangle it from your stuff. Um, you can send it in some happy mail, right? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see what I can put it on, too. Oh, man. I don't More see scraps. it. This is about her grandson. So, you know, I'm going very slow. Okay, I could dangle it here, too. All right? So you can put these tassels on whatever you... I do not see it. They're good for journals. So that's a great way to use your scraps. So this is my first one. This is my first time making these. I don't know why, Avery, I don't know why it's not showing up that message. That is strange. Because she's typing it uh, several times, apparently. And apparently she can see it, but we can't see it. Hmm. But we see her other messages. I know, I see that other stuff. Yeah, that doesn't like... But even Brian is saying that the message has disappeared. That's strange. Does it have a link? If it has a link attached to it, sometimes YouTube, the chats won't let it be seen. Why am I trying to sing Rudolph's song? Pat says the biggest green, she probably meant grin, came on my face when you called my name. Was I've never done this before, Pat Kelly. Pat. Pat's like, just call my name. <laughs> Pat Kelly. I'll pass you the cards. The, um, those the cards. I want to show them the light. What, right what it finally turned out to be. Just don't upset the other things on there because that's for the tutorial. Okay, so y'all. Yeah, put that one back. This right here. That that has to stay there. Oh, I, I see oop, one. Oop. Yeah, I don't want to. Because everything is counted out, so I want to make sure that stays up there. Okay. Ooh, it I is got all my prep work. Okay, so y'all, the um, stadium cards, right? That's the finished. And look, I put, y'all didn't see me do this. I said I was going to do it. But the glossy accents on there. So I think I'm going to put some on the inside too. But I'll, I'll probably leave it open to dry since that'll be a little bit of a longer process. And there's the other one with the glossy accents. Oh, Ava Lee, I finally see one. Ava Lee says, it's my grandson's 10th birthday. Just left the birthday breakfast, not going home to craft. Oh. Is that the combination basketball soccer star? <laughs> Tracy, you don't remember doing this in grad school? What, the paper tassels? I have to tell you that the uh sticky juice you, <laughs> the sticky juice you put on those flowers looks really nice. The glossy accents. Yes. So I'm gonna put some on the inside too. Once I once once we're done with this, and I have the tutorial coming because I have everything cut out and prepared so there'll be a shorter tutorial. But I'll be able to just show you exactly how these are going to turn out. Judith T. So I'm going to also, some of you asked, can I do the measurements for an A2 size card? Since these are my first two, I'm sure the measurements I could find somewhere and then do a tutorial for that. But I'll I'll look for it. Teresa says, love I'm, that I'm card. just learning I too. need to watch the video replay on it. That was a long, be ready, because that video was like three and a half hours. Well, Tracy, yeah, the her tutorial is going to be more concise. Yeah. 
but that's using that Mother's Day stamp. So I just wanted y'all to see once you put the flowers are so pretty. Once you put that the glossy accents on that. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, let's let me do another tassel. A tassel, a tassel. Um, Bill, I think it's a tisket. A tassel. A tasket. I gotta get tassel. A in green and yellow basket. <laughs> a tassel, a tassel. It really is a hassle. Mm. Oh, and grandson also received all A's on his report card. Oh, go ahead. Now you're talking. It is time to celebrate, Ava Lee. Because he can do anything. He's great. If he believes it's never too, too late. If it's going to be, then it's up to me. He's great. He's great. He's, he's great. great. <laughs> I sure did, Aunt Terry. I thumbs up. I said, let me refresh my page because my page says nine thumbs up and 109 people. Let me see what it really has. So now if you want, your tassel can be shorter than this. It doesn't have to be this long. It could be shorter. I have 49. So if I want, I can cut this down just a little bit. We're just singing songs about anything today, okay? Lynette Scott says, that was a wow card. I saw the outside. I had no idea what was on the inside. It was like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> and but it's it super easy to make. You, you're going to be shocked. I'm going to do the straight tutorial because that, that way you don't have to um, a whole four hours of, of video footage <laughs> on the live stream. Where do you get the glossy accents from? Um, that's a good question. We used to carry them in the store. And I do have an order for those um, <clears throat> coming in. We don't have them in there yet, but I'm sure you can find them on Amazon, possibly. Uh, let's see. I printed some pages on regular print paper, and I was like, womp, 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 womp. <laughs> Oh, you were someone was asking about the paper. What I printed out on uh, Nina White paper, like the kit, I printed out on Nina White paper. That spring paper kit. You're talking about this watercolor paper, I believe. I think I saw the comment come real quick and, and go. He's fired today, isn't he, Michelle? He's just not Who? doing what he's supposed to do. Who? <laughs> Who? Someone had asked the question, and I'm trying to I'm trying to make my tassel and read the comments. That's well, because I'm trying to trying to multitask. I'm trying to find glossy accents. <sighs> Excuses. Okay, so people won't have. It's a... fine. It's hard to find good help these days, y'all. Who do I need to fire? Yourself. Ah, uh, that's not the correct response. <laughs> cardstock, yes. Nina White cardstock. Um, this one is one ten pound. DFC. Michelle Bachico. Rebecca Bowser says, I'm making 24 thank you cards for my granddaughter's first nice. birthday. Nice. Sometimes you don't get in your craft room, right? For not even like half hour, but we're going to be on here for, for four whole hours. 
And look, we're already at the first third, past the first 30 minutes. I just put a link in to glossy accents. So I'm going to roll this on here. Hi, Empty Nest Scrapper. Empty Nest Scrapper. I love that. I mean, she kicked her kids out and said, and get made, out. And, and made it a, a, a get scrapper. Get out. <laughs> Before they get to the end of the driveway, she, she had already threw all her stuff out the room and was converting it into anything other than their bedrooms. It was not that bad. When they can't come back home from wherever they came, she just threw a sleeping bag at them. <laughs> Take this and shut up. Uh, okay. No and dust. Get okay. out in the morning. It's too hot. Look, uh, Marcia. Mm -mm. She would change her name. It'll be easy to train another person. Okay, Bill hard Who to train. Who said that? Bill hard Lisa, to train after seventeen years. Did Lisa years. say something? No. I'm ready to fire <laughs> Marcia. somebody. Marcia. <laughs> Marcia is fired. Oh no, Marcia said you have to keep me. I'm sorry, Marcia. We'll keep you. You're not fired anymore. She said I have to keep Look, him. Sonya Creer is gonna do something, so I just fire her right now and get it over with. <laughs> I'm firing her in advance, okay? In advance, okay. <laughs> so you see, I'm just keeping that. As long as that stays the way it is, even on that, you can just keep rolling and it's good to go. I could actually remove this. And that, well, no, I'm going to, I got too confident. I'm going to keep that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Karen Hankerson says, welcome to all the new ones to our family Welcome. Here. Thank you, Donna. Did I sing the happy crafty family song? Hello, crafty fam. Hello, crafty family. How are you? Hello, crafty family. How are you? It's such, such a, a lovely day. day. And I'm glad and you I came to play. Saying. Hello, crafty family. How Hi. are you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sonia Creel can't stay long. I don't already fired her. Okay, I retract my. I'm fire, over there looking at the screen. Fireness. I'm looking at the screen right now, and what I did was I went and rolled this up, kind of jankety. Y'all gonna hear the circle song. You're probably gonna hear the fall song, even though it's supposed to be spring. Um, you can probably gonna hear some Christmas tunes in the middle of the year. Exactly. Y'all gonna hear the number one song. Y'all gonna hear all kind of stuff. Okay, <laughs> we got four hours. Well, three and a half now. Right. The don't mess with Bill song. Don't mess with Bill. No, 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 no. Don't mess, mess with Bill. Bill. Say it one more time. Don't mess with Bill. No, you're not supposed to sing your own song. I'm supposed I to have sing to sing it. that particular line, okay? Look, you just put in, oh, you want you don't want to sing any other song, right? The stylistics, right? You might hear a little bit of a little bit of everything. <laughs> When he's not asleep, Marcia, let's put that part in there, in parentheses, when he's not asleep. Bill keeps the chat interesting when he's not asleep. <laughs> Don't mess exactly, with Vicky. Bill. Say it one more time. Don't mess with Bill. Cause he's out of his mind. Don't mess with Bill. You know the deal. I got to be real. <laughs> I don't care how you feel. You can stand or you can kneel. You better chill. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Don't mess with Bill. Angela Sullivan. Here's one, babe. Did you take your pill? Uh. <laughs> uh. Don't mess with Bill. 
Did you? Y'all see? See? <laughs> I better run down quick. Woo! Look, DX said, Bill, don't let this go to your head. But I was listening to Donnie Hathaway the other day, and you have a similar. Oh, he got a similar voice to him. Bill? Well, actually, the, uh, Donnie was a, a big Donnie influence. Hathaway. He was a big influence. Thank when, you. When kid, thank you for that. That he got of a course, voice. there's only one Donnie, but Donnie was. Uh, you was got, incredible. Bill, you got the voice. Okay. Marcia says, Tracy, I lost my Cutter B scissors. Look, welcome, welcome to, to the, the Tracy Club. Club. Oh, you just put a little bit too much and emphasis Sarah on Johnson that. And Sarah Johnson lost about you put that, five of them, you, I think. <laughs> Is Sarah on here? I don't think she's on here yet. Oh, my goodness. Crystal, me too. I love him. We keep just... Our house, you had missed too much. Oh, hold on. Empty scrap, empty nest scrapper says something. Let me go back up here. That yellow is going to be pretty. You can make this in all, you know, just use your scraps, y'all. Use your scraps. Oh, empty nest scrapper says, I love you guys already. Oh. I love you too, empty nest scrapper. Empty nest scrapper. Let me go ahead and, and um go ahead and initiate you by singing this special song. People, yeah. <laughs> Bill, why are you going? I didn't even get the first. Agree. <laughs> I like this song. Go ahead. Y'all like, mm. heard that, right? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all heard that. I like this. I'm song. not gonna go ahead now. You I gonna, love it. Please you, do it. You, I, you are, got to, <laughs> I feel unfulfilled if you don't finish this. You already don't try to come back you now. You got to finish. You, it. you already shut me down. No, please do it. Talking about. Mm. I was gonna sing the song for oh, you, but no. Bill shut me down. You know what, Brian? We we did have to see the, her the other day. We were talking about Brenda Bywin. We we haven't heard from. We her. have not heard from her. I need to call Brenda Bywin. We need to find out about her. Those people have been asking about her. <laughs> Ah, new subscribers, you know, first impressions, well, you know, this is just the way we are. <laughs> I, I won't be back. I won't be back. The husband is crazy. <laughs> that sounds about right, though. The husband's okay. Because people, people who need people ah. are the luckiest people in the world. Ah. That's all I know. I need to go ah. ahead and <laughs> I need to learn that song, don't I? <laughs> as much as we sing it. Because people, people who need people uh, are the luckiest people, people in the world. Did I get the harmony right, babe? Of course. Mm. Just don't sing the circle song. You know what, Crystal? I said <laughs> I've been saying the same thing. Crystal said, look, y'all are forgetting that Brenda is a newlywed. Mm. That's exactly what I said the last time. We went I see her for at least another year. Well, you still gotta cry. There's no laughing. In crafting, <laughs> giving up is hard to do when you really need someone or giving up 
It's so hard to do. Keep going. Continue. I forgot the rest of it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I forgot the rest of it. We don't. I used to know like a whole bunch I used of songs. To a thousand songs. I can't. <laughs> I like that. J J <laughs> Jay said P Paul. <laughs> Who said that? P Paul. <laughs> P Paul. Who need people? Ah. Keep going. I love the people in the world. You better sing. I say people. How many people? Oh, I know you're not going to just that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Karen Hankins says, Tracy, what is the bulb at the end of the tassel? That is the, that's um a, a bulb, uh, what do you call it? A bulb clothespin. Bulb clothespin. I'll put those in the um I got these on Amazon. Look up what bulb, is it? bulb um it's like bulb pen or bulb clothes pen. I'll put the uh um, so I'm gonna type that in. He'll bulb put the link in there. Clothes pen? Yeah, bulb shaped pen or something like that. This right here? Uh this say uh B-U-L-B? No. No, not clothespin. What do you call those? I don't know. Safety pin. Sorry. There it Safety is. Safety pin. This is for oh, clothes. Oh, there it is. Listen. But you can get the pack of them. Like, there's a whole bunch in one pack rather than... Let's see. You get a ton of them. You get all kind of colors. Okay. Aren't these the cutest though? Look how cute that is. Ooh. Okay. And you could, if you don't have like the ball pen, you could always use like the, um, you could just use, uh, you could actually use string if you wanted to. And you could put these on a tag also. A bulb pin, right. Bulb pin. Okay, I just found it. There's the link There's so many of them because you can get them in like one color if you want. Uh, Lisa says some people use them for stitch markers also. Oh. Jay says she ordered 100 bulb pens. Oh, nice. There's so many different colors. I, I like the fact, I, hey, I like the fact this comes in these containers. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> I'm really enjoying these little tassels. I mean, you could you could do like you can get a tray and just make a whole bunch of these. 
I mean, if you want to just put strings through these and then tie them onto something, you can. You don't have to use. That'll be, that's cute. It'd be cute attached to a little gift or something. Little tassels. Violet Lilac Lilac says I just added them to my Amazon cart. Oh, mm. it's like the eggs. Me too, the egg. <laughs> he says, "Crystal, you have me laughing." <laughs> okay, so this will be a little bit shorter than this one. I oh no, it's about the same length. I don't know why it looks shorter. Oh well. Hold up, so empty nest scrapper's name is Maddie. This is a great way to use up those scraps. Because sometimes you're like, what do I do with this? Hey. That look like those things some, we used to get on. Remember the penny loafers? Make some tassels. The tassels, yeah. Ooh, hey. You know, I never had penny loafers. I always wanted them. Why didn't you get any? My dad just wouldn't do it. <laughs> Chris, what building you work in? Or, or, or you're in? I wanted me some penny loafers so bad. My dad was like, no. It's just not cost effective. He hit his thing was whatever shoes he got me. They had to serve every purpose. So I, I got the plain black shoes that had the string in them that you tie up. That way I could wear them to school, to church, any special event. But he says, if I pay for some, some shoes like, uh, like penny loafers, I can only wear them for only like hardly ever. Mm. I was like, Dad, I promise you I'll play basketball with them if you get them. He's no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> My thing was earth shoes. He, I wanted those I too. wanted me some earth shoes so bad. My mother finally got them. Uh -huh. I was so happy. It, it, it looked so cool, didn't I it? I begged my mother for those. I wanted them so bad, Trace. They looked so cool. They were really cool, okay? How many of y'all had earth shoes? Hi, Lily McGee. I have to read Lily. Lily says, I felt Hello. like I was walking on sunshine. Whoa. <laughs> Tracy Luddy says, hello, hello, hello. What a blessed, beautiful day. I just hope everyone enjoys your craft day. Oh. Everyone enjoys. Look, Andrea White is here. Hey, Andrea. Andrea, like, look, I've been here, okay? She's like, I was here before y'all. Ooh, Chris, <laughs> I, heard, I know where that's at. Parkland Manor, 55 plus. I've seen it, haven't you? Y'all yeah, be over there partying, huh? Y'all yeah, supposed to wait, wait. Chris, y'all ain't supposed to be partying. be kicking up a leg, don't they? <laughs> Chris had herb shoes. Who else had herb shoes? I had me some herb shoes. Sherilyn says, what are herb shoes? I might as well ask that same question because I didn't have them either. They're so cute. You got to look them up. I, it's hard to describe. <laughs> Actually, they were kind of ugly, but they were uh, cute. They were, uh, they, were ugly. Cute. they were cute ugly. They were not ugly. Wait a minute. I'm going to see can I find I'm going to get a picture <laughs> of them for y'all. They were kind of ugly, but they, they were they were cute in their ugliness. I can't explain it. Okay. <laughs> they were. They had a really strange oh. look. I'm going to find them for you. What was Lisa's request, Bill? What? Can you honor Lisa's request? What was I don't Lisa's know. Request? I haven't read it yet. Hold up. Now look at this shoe. You tell me this shoe ain't ugly. It's ugly, but yet it's cute. Whoa. Can you honor her request? I don't see it. Y'all look, look at this shoe right here. That's not Earth Shoes, baby. Yeah, I'm sorry. Them. Okay, That's not it. them. Okay. Hold on, let me go find Don't them. Don't be showing them ugly shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. No. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, huh. Th that and the, uh, what's the jelly bean shoes? I think this is their shoe. 
this is this it? It says Herb Shula, okay? Is this it? That is not Herb Shula. Why are they showing those? Those are so. Bill's showing some shoes that look like a big old brown pill. (laughs) Look at that lurch we're wearing, huh? Oh, can we honor who? Here it is. Can your request is Roberta Flack, Donna Hathaway? The closer I get to you, I don't know if I know that song. The closer I get to you. Time just seems to fly. No, that's not the time just seems to fly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Giving you more and more. Giving you more and more. Let's give love a try. Let's give love a try. The dining comes in. Sweeter and sweeter love grows. That kind of had him. He cut he takes a little lower. <laughs> Y'all trying to put us on the spot. He's down in sweeter and sweeter love grows. And heaven's there for those who fool the tricks of time. When the sun and love define true love in, in a, a special way. way. Give it in. Lying here next to you. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> it's coming back, y'all. Time just seems to fly. I'm probably making up my own words. <laughs> Hurry us up. That's it. Needing you more and more. I'm crafting, okay. Let's give love a try. <laughs> sweeter than sweeter love grows, and heaven's there for those. That's it. Who fool the tricks of time with the hearts of love they find true love in a special way. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> open up a love, open up again. Sell the other week and every morning swing. While thy new will, will make me feel. That was a nice song. <laughs> that was a nice Remember song. the jelly jacket? Wait a minute, Violet Lilac. The that jelly was nice jacket? Was it was like a sauna. It was like a sauna wearing it. <laughs> Look at Gigi. Man, be burning up in that jacket, huh? Gina Armstrong says, I love the older music. Yeah, it was just, just don't ask us to sing. When I come home mm. from shopping, you're on the phone. <laughs> mm. That's why you was shopping. Look up the lyrics to that because I have got to know what they say. Okay. What's the name of the song? Again? I don't even know the name of the song. All right, Chris will know the name of it. Chris, what's the name of this song? Um Make Up the Break Up or something like that. Let me look it up. Is that Break Up the Makeup. Break up. <laughs> you gotta break up before you can make up, okay? So it gotta be that. Oh break my goodness. Up. Y'all are too funny. It probably would be easier to curl these, but this since this is my first time doing it, that's a great that's some great advice. Making these little tassels. Cause when you wish break up the makeup, that's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for food. That sounds like us, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Break up the makeup. Okay, That's so all here's we do. the part. When I come home from working, you're on the phone talking about how bad I treat you. Now tell me I'm wrong. You say it's me. Be 
because it is. Argues, I'll say it's you. Mm. We have got to get together, or baby, we're through. Break up to make up. Oh, that's what, okay, so it does say break up to make up. Because you have to break up I'm first. I'm saying wake up to break up. Would you, that's pretty bad. Really? You know what? <laughs> Your relationship has really hit the piss when you wake up to break up. Look, I done woke up. Let's over. <laughs> <laughs> we breaking up. Why? Because I woke up. Oh my goodness. That's when your relationship is in the pits. Okay. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> that was a nice song back then, though. Look, when I come home from Walmart. No, we used to say, Tracy used to go, <laughs> when I come home. Regina, <laughs> Regina. I don't know what the, I thought she he that he said in somebody's name. Okay, I, I can you know for years I had no idea what they were saying. <laughs> Regina, <laughs> what's wrong with that, Bill? That's hilarious. Right, Michelle said, or oh, baby, we're through. Miriam Vihalaga says, Tiene us hermosa vas. Oh, Lord, no, babe, please. I know I messed up then. Tienes una hermosa. Is there a translation on there? I'm going to go get it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to go get it. I'm going to go get this. I got to see what Miriam said. <laughs> Miriam's like, I'm trying to see what I said. Lily McGee. <laughs> she said, Bill, some people have to wake up and realize what it <laughs> what is what. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all are just too funny. Okay. That's pretty bad, you gotta admit. You just breaking up, waking up to break up, okay. I ain't got to no do no more than wake up. <laughs> Now you could put a little bit of the oh, twine in there. Twine she around. said you have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. See, we try, try Hermosa. to translate. Hermosa, that's feminine. You have a beautiful mm -hmm. voice, Tracy. Kathy has a birthday. Who? Kathy who? Happy birthday, happy birthday. Walter Russell is on here. What? Hi, Walter. You don't have no idea how many times we invoke your name. When Kathy you're has a birthday, Bill. Walter says we both sing during the live because we want to be under the spotlight. <laughs> because we can't stop ourselves. <laughs> it's the same old song. Will you gonna sing happy birthday to whose Kathy? birthday is it? Kathy. Happy birthday to you, Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. M. Sims. I'm just putting some juke twine around this because I can. And I'm using that masculine digital paper. Got a lot of scraps from that. So that's what it looks like with the 
with the twine around it. Now I can get one of these. Uh, this looks a little bit rustic like. Oh, it's Jasmine's birthday too. How many people? Happy birthday to y'all. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Jasmine. And Kathy. Happy birthday, crafty friends. Happy birthday to you. That took my breath away. <laughs> <laughs> took my breath away. Norma Watson. How's my buddy Preston? It's y'all birthday and y'all spending the time with Joanne us. Joanne Gilbertson. I hope you're off today. Look at this one. Oh, this is so pretty. So what are you going to do ultimately, are you right going to do with those little tassel things? Y'all hear this man? Y'all hear this man? He said, what am I, I showed y'all what we were going to do with the tassel things. We talked about what to do with the tassel things. And then he asked, so what you going to do with those tassel things? <laughs> No one says Preston is doing great. Oh, awesome. Oh, Sheila Overstreet. Sheila says clapping. Oh, thank you. Because when I fall in love, it will be completely Cause I'll never love again. I don't even know if that's the way the song goes. You've heard that song before, babe? No. What? Oh my goodness. It sounds cool, though. What rock are you under, darling? I don't know. Is Tanisha on here today? I think Tanisha's playing hooky today, Chrissy. Tanisha! Tracy, Jeff Pacheco said hello. Hi, Jeff! Hi, Jeff! Violet Lilac says that was a big song back in the day. The one you just did that mm -hmm. I didn't know. I can't believe you didn't know that one. Mm, mm, mm. And you older than me. What you trying to say? <laughs> I bet I know this one. They tell me Billy G. McCallister <laughs> jumped out the Tallahassee Bridge. <laughs> 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 oh, that's pretty too. Oh, that is pretty too. Okay, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it up. Okay, someone was saying that to bend the paper a little bit first. I should have bent it before I even started tasseling it. But it's okay. Oh, Kathy C said, I told everyone that I was spending the day with you guys. I will be with my best friends next Tuesday and driving down to my daughter's tomorrow. Oh, look at you. Having a whole Hi. birthday weekend. Hi, Bertha. And hey, Bertha. Zell. Renee Neighbors. Bill, I bet you don't know this song. You're fired. Bill, I what? bet you don't know this song. What? Hap, 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 happy talk. I, I talk think about things you like to know. 
If you don't have a dream, if you don't have a dream, how you gonna have a dream come true? Da, 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 da. I don't know it. Dee, 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 dee. Somebody on here knows that song, okay? Somebody on here knows that song. Well, someone says South Pacific. Yep. Yeah. Karen Hankerson, you better go ahead and you better. So is that a play or something? Or? Bill, I'm not even going to. Well, I bet you don't I'm know a, this You know what? I'm going to have you sit down and watch South Pacific with me. No! You would like it, Bill. I is think it an army would. movie? It is. You're still going to like it, though. Oh, Crystal got the words. <laughs> Walter says she's going to use the tassels on anything she wants to because you need to never mind because it's mindless crafting. It's mindless crafting. It's mindless scrapping. Hold up. I bet you don't know this. Baby face. You've got the cutest little baby face. There's not another one to take your place. Baby face. My poor heart is jumping. You should have started something, baby face. Oh, you know all of it, huh? You've got the cutest little baby. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know the rest of the words. Dee -dee -dee -dee. That's it. You're going to have people leaving the live. They're going to be like, okay, y'all. Yeah, I didn't even talking about baby face. <laughs> I only know one baby face, okay? <sighs> you know, exactly, Michelle. She said, my daddy used to sing that song to me. Oh, thank you, Bill. That's when your age come out. That again. was a song right there. When you start singing stuff like that, people say, I think I think I know how about how old he is. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I've overlooked before. <laughs> now you know that's an old one. Can we get Bill back? Okay. Not the show tunes. Okay, who knows this show tune? When I see a Joe spending half of his dough, you can bet that he's doing it for some dough. Exactly. Call me. Huh? Oh, what? Okay. Crystal says new members, we don't normally sing the whole live. It just kind of is something that's going on today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Chris? <sighs> So, Walter Russell, how have you been doing? Uh, look at Happy Place Crafting got it. That's what I want to know. Guys and Dolls. Frank Sinatra sang it in Guys and Dolls. Have you seen Guys and Dolls, man? No. Golly. We're going to have to just watch some old musicals, okay? You know where I got it from? The Mitch Miller Show. Which one? I'm looking over. Both old. of them. Oh. <laughs> Dee 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 dee. No. What y'all say? <laughs> Something about but true Chris will be queen. What y'all say? I didn't see it. Like yeah, child. Just like, what they may do on here. Okay. It's only what? I'm just talking. I, no, I was looking at the comments, wondering what they were saying. Hold on, I gotta read. Come back in. There. Here it is. I'm back normal. Something that happened to my chat. We can sing all of those show tunes, can't we? Shirley Rogers says, it's amazing how the words to these songs come back to you, but I can't even remember where I put something. <laughs> I can't remember why I opened the fridge, right? It's getting something out of here. Just staring into the fridge, okay? Hold up, Shirley, and how about when stuff like this comes to you? I like to be an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> I understand, Chris. I understand, Chris. <sighs> and when you start singing stuff like that, that's when you know. 
I know, right? <laughs> you start seeing commercials, okay? When you start singing commercials. But as a kid, I used to make sense. Yeah, that'd be good. I could do that. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Don't let them do it. Don't let them take your sunshine away. You know what? I did check it, Chris. I was pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to use this. One of my favorite checks is the first one of the day because I've slept. Usually the first one is... As a general rule, it's going to be good. Right. And if it's not good, that must have meant you ate something pretty vicious <laughs> for the last meal, okay? Coffee break. Deb Couture said, what time is it now? 12.18. Oh, it's, 12. it's only 12.18. That's all. Walter Russell. Oh, Karen said she's saying that to her mom and she started to get sick. Mm. Oh. It's amazing how, like, you sing a song and it just puts you right back in a space, you know, brings back a memory. I remember my mother, when she was passing, it, it took her a week before she passed. Her brother and I went to the hospital. But we had many moments when we would sing some of her favorite songs uh -huh. to her. Yeah. You were doing, I remember you with your dad, you had uh, brought your keyboard. Yeah. And he set it up in the room and was playing for his dad. Yep, yep. I sure did it. DMC said, so far I've made one card. Bye, Donna Saturday. Donna said, I need to run now. See everyone on Tuesday. Thank you so much. See for you, Donna. Donna. Thank you. Rudolph, look at your... No, what? <laughs> Why and am I singing Rudolph? No, not Christmas, Vicky Jensen's like, no! <laughs> Vicky did not say that. <laughs> not Christmas! Rudolph, look at your nose. It's supposed to be red. Santa's... Santa the guy in my sleigh. His sleigh, not yours, babe. If I'm pulling it, Santa, it's mine. Okay. Santa needs you to guide his sleigh. Because of something. Is I can't even way. remember the song anymore. Zale <laughs> mm, 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 mm. says, I need to get my coffee and make me some breakfast. Ooh, but I'm starting dinner first. Oh, oh, you starting? Oh, I need to turn off the. Want to go cut it off? Yes. And then um, while you're down there, Make me some. What? I just stop playing. Go ahead. You should have seen the look on my husband's face. Well, I said while you're down there, uh, right? Crystal does not believe you, do you, Crystal? While you look, I'm gonna turn my chair. Crystal knows I would never make a face. To we my need, lovely, we need the Yvonne El wife. Element song. Element Element song. If I can't have you. I don't want nobody. Did Walter, no, I didn't do if that. If I can't have you, don't you, Walter? Uh, uh, Hector, somebody. That Yvonne Element could sing. That woman could sing. That's one of my favorite songs. Don't know why I survive it. I'm surviving every lonely day. Now I'm gonna have to. Look up the song because I can't remember all the words. Yeah, that one. Okay, okay Yvonne Elementville. 
How you spell her name? Is she thing. still singing? Divine who? Elliman. E L L I M A N. You spell it too fast. Oh, there they came right up. Is Michelle that going back now. Yvonne Elliman. <laughs> <sing. laughs> Crystal. Let me see if I can find that one song. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there it is. I don't know the rest of the song, but I can sing the first verse. Okay, go ahead. Don't know why I'm surviving every lonely day when there's got to be no chance for me. My life would end, and it doesn't matter how I cry. That's all I know. Well, that's the most important part. No, the, the, the one is, the strongest part is, if I can't have you. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. I don't want nobody, baby, if I can't, can't have, have you. you. Uh-huh, oh, if I, I can't, can't have you. you. I don't want nobody, baby, if, if I, I can't, can't have you. you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember that. Now that you say somebody it. remembers that. I remember that. Chris, so what happened to the craft project? <laughs> it sit up on the table. Ah! Chris, <laughs> just sit up on the table. The tassels just. <laughs> I thought we were doing tassels. What's going on? What is going on with the tassels? Okay. Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> It just called scrap a <laughs> Keep us on task, okay? Keep us on task. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Nina Simone's voice was very she unique. had a very unique voice. She's in a lane all by herself, now I'm going to have to play that song after the live. I have to blast it. <laughs> Where's Carmina? Carmina! The tassels are tasseling! <laughs> Where I got the twine from? Uh, the jute. This, I wonder if this is Dollar Tree. It could be Can anywhere. I get this? It could be anywhere from Dollar Possib Tree. Possibly, possibly Dollar Tree. To Amazon to Happy Mail. <laughs> uh, someone said there was a break. Okay, might as well sing. Where's Jill Pounds at? Oh, she's um, the baby showers today. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. She's hosting a baby shower oh. for her daughter-in-law. She wrote me this morning and told me she wasn't going to be able to make it. Uh-oh. Gooby over there, Gooby. Yeah. He done trapped himself downstairs. Mm. He does it all the time. <laughs> he trapped trapped himself downstairs. Now y'all got me... With that, uh, <laughs> then he's afraid to come up because the cat will be hiding somewhere and jump just out waiting, of waiting in the wings. The cat is just too much, it's evil. Okay. The cat just too much. Teresa says the tassels are doing the hustle, <laughs> do the hustle. Do, do, Michelle do, says do, Chris do, will be cracking do, do, the whip up in here, <laughs> get back on track. <laughs> Stop acting wrong. Crystal gonna be okay. fired, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clayton said you don't muster at love. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, I remember that. I heard. I remember the name of the song. I remember that song. I remember that song. Man, y'all bring back some oldies. Amy says, I love these tassels. Are those safety pins you're using? Yeah, those are the um the bulb bulb safety pins. 
This okay. is going to be pretty with the pink or the yellow. What am I supposed to be doing downstairs? Right? This right here. See that part? I forgot. <laughs> you Cap gave me two things. Captain yeah. and Janelle sang that, them. right? Was that Captain and Antonio who sang Muskrat Love? I don't know. But you want me to get you coffee and something else? I can't remember now. Me. <laughs> Is that a shame? You were going downstairs to do something, Bill. I cannot remember. I don't remember what it was. Kathy, what? Tell me what it was. Kathy, no, I forgot too. <laughs> it was only 35 uh... seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy said, I forgot. <sighs> Helen Graham says, yep, Captain and Tennille. Look, ask you a song. Captain N Tennille can sing. Captain and Tennille? Mm -hmm. They can sing. Vicky said, look, get Tracy's coffee. <laughs> Vicky. I'm going to have to make a restroom run right now. Y'all got me <laughs> cracking up. I'm drinking all this water. Oh, yeah. Turn off something. You said turn off the crock pot thing. Oh, yes, yes. Deborah Couture got a long memory, boy. I'll go turn it off, babe. You better not say nothing to Deborah Couture. She better, what's that you said six months ago at 4.23 a.m.? Y'all all up in the kitchen. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Do you remember that song? Yeah. No. <laughs> Look, strains to get out of the chair. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell him Walter Russell that. Walter get the wrong impression. Oh. Of this physical specimen going down the stairs. <laughs> He's a physical specimen. That is hilarious. My husband sound like bubble wrap getting <laughs> getting out of the chair. <sighs> he sound like bubble wrap. Don't make him go down there twice, okay? <laughs> Strumming on the old banjo. <laughs> My husband be struggling to get up the stairs. Okay, I'm going to leave him alone. Oh, I could use some of this string right here, can't I? I could use some of this twine. Kind of liking that combination of the twine on these little tassels. Poor Bill. He down there trying to get. Bill, give Gooby a treat. <laughs> Try to make him do everything before he comes upstairs and then I have to send him back down again. <laughs> he be sounding like, me and Ariel be like, are you okay? You're like, oh no, I'm just getting up. Like, goodness. Let's sing it, fee fi fiddly i o fee fi fiddly i o. Is that what it is? <laughs> Just making up words. <laughs> sing him that song from Shaka Khan. I feel for you. <laughs> I mean, he just be aching to get out the chair. He downstairs singing, y'all. He been singing all morning, actually. <laughs> Karen, you're the whole orchestra. He is down there singing, y'all. But he's been singing all morning. He woke up. He was just singing. Bill, not too much sugar in my coffee. I got to tell him that, okay? 
Well, these tassels, these are my first tassels, y'all. I have not done the paper tassels before. Someone's saying, like, in elementary school, you do these? I have not done these before. I've seen people do them, but... I hear you, babe. <laughs> He's in a really good mood. He is. As long as he stays awake during the live, we good. <laughs> There's no donuts. <laughs> He's worked hard for the money. <laughs> This is not bad at all. This part, though, I'm, I'm going to have to cross over and bring some down here. It's all right. Is anyone else making tassels with me, or am I the only one in the craft room? Oh. I'm making some for suede, for some suede strips you have. From suede strips? Oh my goodness. Is it hard to cut through it, Crystal? These will be nice on like a party bag also. If you want to add some embellishment to a party bag, I think this will be cute. That that live on Tuesday, <laughs> that live on Tuesday was a hoot. Here, honey. Uh oh, poor Gooby. He came up the stairs. Every time he goes up the stairs, y'all, he it starts that coughing. He's fine until he goes. Sarah. Sarah Johnson. Oh, you you got tassels from an old pocketbook. Oh, you're using an old pocketbook to you to make the tassels. That's a good idea. You know what? I oh, the graduation, the twine for the graduation cards. That's a good idea too. How many of y'all had the vest? They had the tassel kind of thing going on the bottom of it. You know what I'm talking about? It was like pleather. <laughs> During the time of Michael Jackson. You know what I'm talking about, Tracy? The what? It was a vest. And right from here, it was like tassel. Like, oh, yes. I had the one tassel of those. vest. You had one of those? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, Walter. <laughs> Walter says he's having cataract he's surgery. He's walking. What? I did have them. The Michael Jackson vest. What are you talking about? <laughs> you can tell me nothing. Look, Bill be like, hey, girl, uh, keeps walking. <laughs> In the other hey, thing. baby. <laughs> keeps walking. Come on, girl. I keep, think I love you. Uh, keep, uh, tassel vest keeps walking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Crystal had one. <laughs> Deb Millsap. I think <laughs> Alea. Ah, Bill. <laughs> so I'm trying to talk about. I'm trying to wish. I'm trying to. It's going in the same category as that. Um, Walter, I'm praying for you for your cataract surgery on Monday. Yes, we are. The doctor told me I need to get it, but I told him. He said, "I, I said, how long can I wait?" He said, "About a year." I said, "Well, I'll see you then." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Michelle, she said he was doing the moonwalk. I never could moonwalk. Okay, moonwalk. I tried so hard. <laughs> My feet just would act right. She said you were doing the mean walk. You had it right. He was doing the mean walk. I could not move walk his, to save my life. No, why are you be throwing yourself under? I had everybody. Under the to, like this. I had everybody to try to show me it just couldn't do it, Tracy. I just couldn't move walk. <laughs> I've even showed it you. was so hard. I showed Adonis last week how to move walk. And he didn't get it either. That's why, that's why my knee is messed up. Tracy trying to move walk. Exactly. 
Exactly, Walter. Prayers. That's what I was trying to get out before Tracy so brutally interrupted me. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> Damn, Millsap, that is so funny. I got to tell Tracy. Tracy had to go out of the room. What? Crystal, all of them are fire, okay? They're all fire. They're fire. Michelle said I was supposed to make her a sandwich when I was downstairs. You know, network, I have rhythm and stuff like that, but I just couldn't moonwalk. I could not do it. And I wanted to do it so bad, especially when they not only would he moonwalk, you know how he would kind of moonwalk me, turning side to side, left to right, and back went forward. Oh, it was just so cool. I wish I could pretend to talk about these tassels, but I don't know how to do them. So, you know what, Deborah Couture? Everyone says that. Deborah's saying it's amazing how it's better you can see once you have cataract surgery. And I've heard that. I've heard that. Uh, Tracy, I was talking about moonwalking and the problems I was having. Deb, Mia Sepp said she can barely earth walk. That's a good one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my goodness, okay. Then where it says I was never she never could do the electric slide. Then where I hated that. When oh, the I love the electric. Out, I love the electric slide. Because that just gave the girls an excuse to not dance with us. Get in line. You know what I'm saying? Did they do about 13 slides? As soon as that song comes on, you gotta get on different, the dance floor. Different versions of it, which I didn't even know one of the versions, okay? Well, you could have just learned. It, Bill. And then at time after that they put on a slow record, which is what all the guys are wait up waiting on. Hey, could you I'm sweating? <laughs> wait till later. And of course, after one song, two of you two of you were lucky or slow songs, they play another 20 fast songs. Mm -hmm. Usually some kind of slide song. What, the electric slide? I couldn't stand them. Let me see if I can make some of these. Cataract. Mm. Crystal, that was me right there. Crystal said there was always that one person in the line going the opposite way. That yep. was me. He was messing up the line. Get off the floor. I would okay. try to watch the uh, people around me. Get try off to the floor. Do what they do. Move out the way because you're going to just mess up the whole line. Now, what would mess me up? You know how people they like to do a double dip? Like, you know, say they turn and trace and go like this. Like, they fake going one way and they go the other way. They don't do that. The well, they fly. faked. I went with. I went with it and just ran into the other person. You know what I'm saying? Just get off the floor, babe. Just cut knees. Helen Graham says you can't believe how it's better you see after cataracts surgery. The doctor said I need one both eyes coming up. Y'all pray for me. This bill's gonna be a big old baby. Okay, so I'm just cutting these down to be like the same size because I'm going to make these paper beads, right? So I'm going to make these and I need two, four, six, seven, seven strips in order to make those. So they need to be like the same height and width. I think Michael Jackson, he 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 actually admitted that he, that he studied... James Brown and Jackie Wilson also. Please, James Brown was a little joke. I saw him live in concert one time at this outdoor base little country baseball stadium in Saginaw, Michigan. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And they okay. The, the stadium, the the stadium wasn't that big. It was just this little field, right, with a little fence around it. And they put this huge. Like twenty foot tall partition around, but people were climbing up on trees, okay, and, and trying to look over the, over into the field to see James. Cause they, but I I got in somehow. Me and my father both. 
So to make these paper beads, y'all, this needs to be like, if you want it this size, it needs to be like a half an inch wide on the strips, right? And so you'll need um, seven, seven strips. I made this a while ago, so I'm, I'm kind of teaching myself right now, but I'm determined to make this. You need seven of those strips, and I just cut this short. This one right here is, uh, let's see. So my strip is going to be eight inches in length. So let's do um, these half-inch strips, see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens on this first one. Me. Amy K said she was watching a video of Michael uh, Jackson performing for some award show and he sat down in a chair and was dancing. Mm. Oh, he can, his he can do some so commanding. I could see it. He just, every step and movement and he could dance sitting down better than both so-called dancers standing up. Just the whole choreography just like, oh my goodness. Malaya says, Malaya Branch says, I love making paper beads. Those paper beads. So now these aren't going to be like the slanted ones. These would have to be like the straight, straight on uh, paper beads. So we're going to see what this looks like. So hey, Michelle Pacheco, that pretty much answers that then. She says, is that paper or clay? It must be paper, I would say. This is paper. Yep. But it's so sturdy. And um, I actually have a tutorial when I made those. And, oh, the inspiration for these tassels, I know there's a lot of videos, but there is someone, she's a smaller channel. I, I couldn't remember the other day, but I remember her. Um, I looked her up this morning so I could remember her. It's Her channel is Sleepless Page. Sleepless Page, P-A-G-E. That's the channel name. If y'all... Um, Go and support her channel. Her channel's a smaller channel, but boy, she does some really incredible stuff um, using scraps. So thank you, Sleepless Page, for um, for doing the, the uh, tutorial on these. Sleepless Page. Sleepless Page. Let me find Sleepless Page. Yeah, you'll find a lot of... Fun stuff on her page, too. She does some really cute stuff. I told you I was going to start shouting out some smaller channels just because, you know, always good to support. I just feel like there's uh, a lot of smaller channels doing some wonderful, wonderful tutorials. And hers is one of them. I'm getting a link for y'all. When you get the Sleepless Pages uh, channel, tell them mine is crafting sent you. So, hey, Sleepless. Y'all okay, going to love some of the stuff. I, I hope that's the name of her channel. Let me see. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she does the cutest stuff. Oh, I didn't subscribe to her. Subscribe. Yeah. Okay, thanks. She makes some really fun stuff, doesn't she? Yeah, y'all go and subscribe to her. Um, but I came across her channel. I was like, oh my goodness, she does some wonderful things. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can do that to the paper, right? And let's make some, some beads. Now for this, you want to make sure that it's like straight on. So it turns out even like this. We want it to be even. Oh, thanks, Amy. 
Amy already went and subscribed. Amy wasn't playing, huh? Yeah, Amy sure wasn't. She's got some great, some really cute stuff on her page. Really cute stuff. Her, the tassels where is the first one I had seen of hers. And I was like, oh my goodness, she makes this look so easy. Yeah, find some new crafting stuff, right? It's always good to be inspired. I get inspired, you know. It doesn't have to it doesn't have to be a large, large channel to inspire me. It can be uh y'all posting something in the group. It could be a smaller channel that just does really good instruction and explaining things. And I just like I liked her page and I liked her energy. Okay, so that's one, right? And so I want this to kind of be even because I want to add the gems on top, okay? So all of these are going to be the same kind of width. Width and length. Amy says with the amount of scraps I have, any help I can get is awesome. She does some good stuff. She does this one tutorial with a, I think it was like a paper bag. It was adorable what she did with her stuff, like her embellishments and decorated this paper bag. It was like a mini paper bag. And I thought it was the cutest thing. Bill, you already wrote to her, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, so oh, okay, you thank you. Real quick. Thanks. Definitely appreciate that tassel tutorial. Oh, thank you. Then it gives her encouragement too. You know, sometimes you you're at the beginning of your um, YouTube journey, and um, you know, sometimes it could be discouraging. But I like to encourage. Like, keep going. Keep going. Oops, that one is a little bit off there. So another good way to use up your scraps, y'all. Amy Cave says she's going to be like, where did all these people come from on the I same know. day? I know. Mindless crafters. So see, that, see what those look like, y'all? Okay, so if you want more of a fuller one, you might want to use like you could add more strips to it if you want it like a fuller a fuller bead. You could add more than one strip to it, and it'll be a lot fuller. So you can go on and on with these. I have a necklace made from magazine pages made by women in Uganda. It's beautiful. I enjoy your channel so much. Oh, thank you so much, Laura Crafts. It's amazing the amount of things that you can make from paper. It's it just it's just endless. And we can learn from each other, which is which is really um fun. The fact that we can learn from one another. So, you know, each person's style is different, but I can appreciate it. Tracy, Pat Kelly says. Tracy, what will we use the pearly flower crafts you're making now? What what will we who? Apparently, uh, those things what you're making. How would use? you use those? In what context would you use that particular embellishment? Um, you could actually use it on a. Hold on one minute. What is those little Amy um, containers says, that we made? She says they'd be awesome dangles. They would be awesome dangles. Yep, you can dangle them because you can. Uh, well, if you don't put the the string through it, but in between here, like if you just kind of like, you can make like a little necklace thing. So if you put a string here, do here and just come along like, so it loops here 
before you glue that down and then you loop it around again and it could be like a dangle or something. I would think you can do that. You could even do that with paper. Hi, Eli. Kind of like this. But you could attach it to something like this, right? So this is that box that we made. And really like maybe hot glue it onto the box to make it like a nice little gem on top of the box. Right? Something like that. If you do the smaller one, Tracy, you the little small one, you can do four of them and make them look like... Let me see. You put them on each corner like that and use them as... Don't put this part on them. Mm -hmm. You could do that. And then you turn it over and use them as legs. You could do that as little feet under the box, right? Ooh, make a little jewelry box. You see what I'm saying? Don't put this on there so it sits flush. And now you got a little level right there. Paper, y'all, paper. You put this on here, glue it right on here, and now you have something to decorate the top of your box with. So it would look like this. Add dimension to it. Or if you didn't want it as, as big or as uh, bulky, you can make it you can cut like even a uh, quarter inch strips and do it that way too. Lisa so, says, so if you shorten the length of the strips, does, of the strips, does it make the flower smaller? It makes it a lot smaller, right? So if you keep adding on, adding on, it'll be, um, it'll be a lot bigger like these. So these have a lot rolled around it. These just have the one eight inch strip. Bye, Joanne. Amy says, have you ever done quilling? I have not. I've seen people post in the group. Um, and I've I've seen, seen some stuff on Pinterest, too. Thank you, Amy. Libby's Lovelies by fam. Hi there. Hi. We were talking about you a few uh, lives ago. I think we even sent some people your way, Libby. Libby. We were talking about how awesome you were. Libby. So some of you have done quilling. See, the friend says she learned quilling from a missionary that stayed at her home when she was a kid. Michelle Pacheco says you can glue a pen in the back know? and have it as a brooch. Ooh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Actually, I think, Libby, you know what, what we were talking about that day? We were talking about how there were awesome, awesome YouTubers out there in different areas, but in this case, we're talking about crafting, who did amazing work, absolutely amazing, and you definitely fell in that category. We were like, man, how is it possible that you have crafters like yourself, and we need about three or four others, whose numbers simply do not reflect the quality of craftsmanship of what they were, what you all were offering in terms of skill, uh, just entertainment value, uh, teaching, you know. The level of teaching. Yep. I look at the subscribers sometimes. I'm like, this you, person should have more right. subscribers. A heck of a lot more. A heck of a lot just more. Just because they do such a good job. So right. So it, I want them to be found. Okay. <laughs> so. Gonna find you. In other words, you're good, okay? <laughs> Her voice is amazing. Libby's voice. If y'all don't, if y'all y'all gotta listen to Libby's voice. Oh, Libby says thanks. Y'all inspired my channel years ago. Oh wow. I appreciate you still. Oh. Now we gotta go head over to Libby's. Libby's, we coming over to your your uh YouTube house. <laughs> I 
You did turn off that thing, right? Yes. Okay, good. Libby's house, Libby's house. Let's head over to Libby's house. <laughs> Yep. And for those of you that are so inclined, here's the link to Libby's Lovers by Fam. You can go check her out. Just let her know. Minus crafting sent you. Michelle Pacheco said, I had a plethora of ideas once I saw those flowers. Oh, my goodness. Aren't they just the cutest, though? It's like a little jewel. And then now you can put a bunch of them together, you know? Look at that. You can put a bunch of these together. You can put it on the cover of a journal. Hold up. Libby's, what, what uh, intro jingo? She says, Bill, did you record her singing my new intro jingle? I have to go hear it. Livy's house. She's saying, the, are you talking about the jingle I just sang? <laughs> Let's head over to Livy's house. Oh, 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 <laughs> I see. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'll make up a song, okay? That's what it's like when you have a, a YouTube channel. It's like going over to someone's house, right? So I need seven of these, y'all. It's like visiting somebody's house, right? And then sometimes people don't act accordingly when they do visit your house, right? Mm -hmm. They want to tell you how to run your house. You better do what I say. <laughs> Not us, though. Not us. So sweet. Thank y'all for supporting. Appreciate that. Okay, Michelle Chica says you can glue them on a headband base, brooch, and clusters, and use on curtains, scarves, glue them on the shower curtain holders. Oh, of course, wow. Of course, you have to spray some kind of hardener. Yeah, you could actually put these I've had in my craft room for years. Years. Man, DX says, I leave a trace eating to drink your coffee. It's going to be cold. It looked like it's steaming hot. It's not. It's, okay. it's in your imagination. It was just my imagination once again. Running away with you. It was just it's my imagination. imagination. Running away with me. Judy R says, so when is your daughter getting married? November. Ariel talking about 200 and such and such days to Chelsea's wedding. I'm like, what? Who's counting? <laughs> What? Sarah Johnson is so quiet. I almost forgot she was here. So my measurements are in and they're making my the designer is making my dress, y'all. Like how exciting. See the friend says you can cope with quick shine full finish as a less expensive protector for paper beads and and stuff like that. Some people say clear nail polish. I wonder if how much how would that work? So that one is a little bit larger than I wanted it to be. But I think it's okay. I have one time, uh, I was in the fifth grade. My aunt, she took us out to her, my cousins and myself and my brother out to California, right? And we were there for a month. But we went to this 
the church, it was a church out there that had like a summer school, something or another. And we picked up on it. I'd had about a week and a half of it. And one of the things we did, we made something where like a, we took this wooden thing. Um, what was it, a camp? Yeah, it was a summer school type yeah. thing. You know, like you go to it during the day hours. Yeah. And we we would do crafts and play and stuff like that. But one of the crafts, we had this wooden thing that was kind of, uh, it was kind of like this thing right here, y'all. Okay. And then we we got to to take like our favorite pictures or made something like a montage or something, and we put it onto the board just the way we liked it, and then we put this heavy varnish like stuff on it. You know what I mean? Like a clear coat. Mm. I was so proud of that thing. Yes, it was Vacation Bible School. I was so proud of that. Thing. I couldn't believe that I had made something that looked so cool. You know what I mean? I remember when I made my first, I think it was a jewelry box, some kind of utility box in a wood shop. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is now, huh? Mm. Crystal says clear nail polish does work and rust oleum clear spray. DX says she's used glossy Mod Podge mm. as a substitute for glossy accents. That, that would, would work. work. That would work. I think we got something like that over here. Let's see. Okay, so you got your, you're going to have the one that goes in the middle, right? And then you'll just kind of start gluing everything together. Well, you know, uh, I guess I could use that. Let's see. A little dot of glue on here. Just a small little dot. Did anyone else have wood shop back in the day? Carmina says, my spies onto the strip before rolling them. It'll be really hard then, huh? Hmm? Reinforce. Oh, you, to reinforce it. If you my spies before and then roll it? Yeah. If I wasn't on the live, it'll probably be easier to... Um... Oh, putting the Mod Podge on the strip. Yeah. I can see that. Cindy W says, You can do it. Is it. Put your mind to it. Cindy says, If I don't have enough going on with crafting and gardening, I'm starting to get interested in my old interest of genealogy. I have so much stuff to go through and update. Oh, wow. My cousin, he's talking about going down to some, uh, they just built this center in North Carolina, South, South Carolina. It's an international African-American museum or something. Anyway, they have the ability to, to do genealogy so vast and deep that he wants to go and see what he can dig up. See if that sticks, y'all. If not, I'll just have to put the, uh, let's see. Just put the glue on it. Chris was in high school. She had Ooh. shop. And uh, she said, I love to take an intro woodworking shop. You know what? My high school, we had one of the best woodworking, metalworking, and also auto mechanics type programs in the state. And I did not take them because I was so... I was like, oh, I don't need to do, do that. One day I'm going to be rich. I'll, I'll hire someone to, please. I've eaten those words so many times over. Cindy Piper, that's what happened to me. Girls couldn't take shop, right? They couldn't take woodworking shop. And they put me in home economics. And I told my mother I wanted to do woodworking. And they told her, told me, I told my mother I wanted to do woodworking. And they told my mother basically that they didn't allow girls in woodworking. Why y'all tell my mother that? <laughs> Why y'all tell my mother that? Okay. Mm. Guess what my mother did? 
She went and acted she marched, like herself. She marched right up to that school. My mother might have been self. small, but she had a presence, okay? Mama went right up to that school, too. And they say, you know, you was in that, that I took, class. I took you? woodworking. Uh, <laughs> I was, in, rules. I was in wood shop. Exactly. The skill, the need for those skills have returned. My mother was like, what? She said, who said? Well, the uh, rule book. What rule book? My mother will just keep asking. My mother had the principal at my elementary school so scared. Well, who wrote the book? That means you can erase that. This part, was right? high school now. I mean, this was I, she had them scared at the elementary school. Now this was a new high school we were going to, yeah. and I was picking out my classes. She was like, uh, "Oh no, she will be in that class." She was like, "Who who's Ruba?" And my mother has a West Indian accent. What what book says she can't she, that my daughter Tracy? I need to see her name in the book <laughs> that says she can't take wood shop. They were like, well, uh, no one has ever asked, uh, you know. <laughs> they ignored me the whole semester. Even the teacher was kind of like. Like you broke some unspoken rule. He was kind of stink about it. You know, I could tell. I made my little box, though. I could tell the teacher was not happy. Because he was happy to have his boys in there. Ooh, she, she, right. And they was showing me how to use that vice and stuff. Kathy C says, we were just talking about this at my 50th reunion. I will not they be didn't denied. They did offer shop for the girls, and I simply wasn't interested in cooking. I know. I, I mean, I liked, the, I liked learning to sew and cook, but I've taken those classes already. I'm ready to move on to something else. Because the boys over there having fun up and making stuff. And I'm talking in How auto, dare they? In auto shop, one of the things they did is one of the semesters, they actually would build a car from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Imagine from scratch. Uh. So they would learn all kinds of Did y'all let girls in the class? I mean, I don't know because I wasn't in the class. But they but you would learn all kinds of side things, welding, pressure stuff, and why you ain't take that class? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I Hold up, for the wood wood for the wood shop class, Tracy. One of the, the things they did for the senior year is they worked with this company and they built a house from scratch. So they had to learn all about electrical work, engineering, and uh, everything about how to do the water pipes, and it was amazing. That's the class you need. You That's know what the one you need right there. That's the class that you need. I don't know what I was thinking about. Please. I wish somebody would have slapped me upside the head. Man, you better get in that class. You want me to do that now? Yes. <laughs> I need we it. can make that happen. We can make it happen. I'm going to do all white. I want to see what this looks like in all white. Kathy, you sound like me. Kathy, she says, I wish they had awful auto mechanics. Then we wouldn't have to describe our cars, cars problems by mimicking the noise. Right. Well, what happened when I went this way, when I turned right, it said, whoa, whoa. <laughs> then I heard someone go, hur, 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 hur. and the auto mechanic look at you like, mm hmm, uh, 4,000. Mm. That part. And when you turn, as soon as you turn your back, he orders one screw. Mm. I'm going to make some more of these, but I am oh, going to. DX says she was the first girl in her high school to wear red Converse high tops. What? It was so freeing. Look Everyone could believe it. Y'all making history. I was a trendsetter, okay? Y'all making history. Uh oh, Amy has to go call a customer. Make sure my stuff is not coming apart here. These little paper stuff is like. You can really start to use up some, some scraps here. That's exactly it, Netwear. You have that's exactly it. The Netwear says 
you were probably like me, Bill, because we were on the college track and we thumbs our noses up at all the other practical classes. Hindsight is now our best foresight. Yep. Matter of fact, we also, we had a great high school. We also had, there were only two high schools in the entire state that had their own closed circuit TV. And I'm telling you, it was awesome. It was just like watching the real news. It was so professionally done. Mm. Yeah. And I didn't do that either. Okay. Because college prep, it didn't, that wasn't one of the classes that was on that track. They made you, wait a minute. Cindy, they made you wear a big bow? For being too talkative. Mm. Cindy was wrapped up in bowls. Cindy. Bill was class president, y'all. Mm. Hmm. Mm. He was class. He was one of those. It was just a title. It wasn't no just that they had to vote you in, right? Yes, they did. Right. So <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I Class my president. Way that, boy. I bet you did. Anybody with this five You put two. up posters and all that? No, I just talk. Everyone knew me. I was I was part of every group. So you didn't have to put up not one poster. I was in just about every club. No. Nope. What club were you in? All of them. There wasn't a club you could name. You know what I'm saying? Spanish club. Science club, eco impact, uh, debate, uh, Spanish club, all sports. I got an A in Spanish three years straight, and you could not read that one comment. No, I've forgotten it. <laughs> Look, that's like 40 years ago. <laughs> Listen, Anybody remember playing girls' basketball with those rules? What was the rules for girls' basketball back then? Oh, the, our girls are bad. No, we didn't have, I, I, didn't, I couldn't speak German, but they did have a German club. I was in a bunch of clubs, uh, DMC, probably about 15 of them. Every sport, football, basketball, track, you know what I'm saying? I was in the human relations club. We didn't have one of those. It's just like, like bringing everyone together, like, okay. you know, just kind of like, almost like a welcoming committee. High school was fun. Mm. I guess. I think schools should bring those extra classes back. They would do wonders to the generation. They could learn way more. Yep. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, that DMC band. And then the choir came, and I and then I quit band and went to choir. Mm. Because my friend, I had a friend, and we didn't have a choir. And we were complaining, saying, we want a choir. And they said, we don't have the teacher. And they had so you have to have there. someone to sign off for it, right? Right. Whenever so you want to bring did, a new club, yeah. Right. So what they did, we said, we got someone that could do it. And there was this kid in our school named Nate Calhoun, okay? So I was a junior this year, and Nate was a freshman coming in. And like he was like, Nate, he's a student. Yes, let's go get him. So we went and got Nate. Now, here's the thing. Nate sung at the White House when he was in the ninth grade and played piano and sung. Nate conducted the Gospel Workshop of America when he was 12. Nate was a bad boy, okay? And he came in there that and into that. We went and got him, brought him in, and next thing you know, he was teaching the class and receiving some kind of advanced credit <laughs> for it. Ninth grader, huh? We had one of the baddest choirs because of Nate. You talking about some parts, boy. Nate wasn't playing, huh? No, Nate didn't play. Nate didn't play. He was very, he was a to be a ninth grader, he didn't play. But you know, even when he was twelve, he was the same way. There was no talking. There was no. There was no. He he was worse than a teacher. 
he would start the song off and say, I'm allocating 17 minutes to the learning of this song. Uh. I require extreme so-and-so. Everyone take a seat. Soprano, stand up. You know what I mean? He was like that. I wish you would talk while Nate was giving a part. What? Yes. The girls couldn't go full court? That was terrible. They were three dribbles part only. Of the girls couldn't go. Could Oh, could go full court. Okay, gotcha. Wow. Deb C was in band and German club. That's about it. The track make, took up most of my time. But I was uh, I was in the honor society and um, and uh, and the and the human relations club. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. But that took up a lot of too. time, huh? The National Honor Society. Mm -hmm. I didn't do a lot of that one though. I, mean, I was vice, but the vice president didn't really do much. Naomi said she was Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth Barrett Browning in junior high school in the Bronx, New York. In the Bronx! Uh oh Get Tan! Get Tan says, I had lost a stamp and I've been looking for about half an hour. Half oh my hour. goodness. It probably stuck. Look at the bottom of your uh, shoe or something. <laughs> You're going to pick a different, I know you look, you don't get attached to that. Pick up a, pick a different stamp. <laughs> no! She wants that one. I have had that happen to me and then found it stuck to something. Walter Russell is still here, Tracy. Walter. I feel honored and privileged. That where it says, where else can we craft and relive high school? You know. And then see my brother, who was a grade ahead of me, he was the DJ. So I got to get into all the parties for free, which I didn't party much, but um, he got to, you know, he, he was that guy. <laughs> Hold up. Let me ask you a question. Y'all remember this song right here? Go outside in the rain. Da 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 Go outside in the rain. Y'all remember that song right there? Well, that was my friend, Nate Calhoun. He wrote that, okay? Hmm. So yeah. if we looked it up, his name would be right there, huh? Yeah, oh, yes. Wow. He wrote a bunch of stuff. It, it, what happened, it was so sad, Nate, he was going to to law school at Cornell and got hit by a drunk driver. Oh. You believe that? Mm-mm-mm. It was so sad. Man. Nobody. Bill, were you Mr. Good Two Goody Two Shoes? Mm. No, you know how it is. I was able to walk. Let's put it like this. I wasn't crazy. My mother was a teacher and she was <laughs> she was the one crazy. So so I could avoid her crazy. I I made sure I told a certain line. I told Bill if we went to the same high school, we probably would not have met. I told her if I I would look at you and say you belong to me. Trying to give it to and I would have ran away. Okay. I wish I could say I would have been I like, I I would've I would've like boy, please. <laughs> I wish I could say I would have caught you. <laughs> Probably not. You'd have been in one of my classes, or not all of them, because you'd have been in the college track track. No, because I was older than you. I'm I, just saying hypothetically. 
Well, if we were near the same, if we in the same grade, oh yeah, we'd have been in every class, the same classes. So Marcia, even if I would have not wanted to be good, it just wouldn't have happened. I have one of the kind of mothers who she gave every everybody knew her phone number. I don't care who the teachers, the janitors, <laughs> the coaches, just everybody. Ooh. And if I did anything, uh, believe me. She said, just call my name. They were calling her. <laughs> she would come up to the school and embarrass you. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. So that fear, huh? I'm not going through that. Mm, mm, mm. That happened to me one time in the seventh grade. I said, never again. Oh, what's the name of the actor who, who, who was in the, the, the car movies who passed away? I know oh, I don't know. About. I know you're talking about, though. I know exactly what you're talking about. Nathaniel Calhoun, that's the name. Y'all see it? Netwear, yep. Nathaniel Calhoun. Hmm. Nathaniel Sanders. Uh oh, it looks like we disconnected for a little bit there. Can y'all see us? We're back. It looked like we disconnected just for a little bit. Okay, Netwear. Nathaniel sounded like a cross between uh, Glenn Jones and Brian McKnight. Mm. And he played like Brian McKnight. I'm looking at y'all comments. It was a quick glitch. Okay. I can hear you, but no movement. Oh, yep. Uh, see if you can kind of restart that already. Well, no, it has to do. My eyes just. Oh, they said they can hear me, but no movement. Oh, I see what you're saying. Huh. Okay, let me see what happened. I just refreshed the browser and see if it works. Okay, refresh your browser. Once I said EW. Okay, it's much better on your end. Okay, yeah, refresh. Just making sure I am plugged up. That was a nice song too. Oh, you know that one. I don't I, I know it as, as I hear it. What is it? I forget. <laughs> is it Karen Carpenter? Is it Karen Carpenter? Uh, is it Karen Carver? Mm -hmm. She has a nice voice. Okay, Pat Kelly, if it's a little blurred on your end, uh, take your mouse over to where the little gear thing is, and it says settings. Click on settings. Click on quality. And then go to the highest thing. It could be the 1080p or 720p. Oftentimes when it gets blurry, it jumps down to 144p. Like mine right now. It. I wonder why it does that though. I don't know. I'm on 1080p. I think I'm gonna add more onto this actually. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more so it's wider, it's a larger bead. I want this to be larger. I do 360 and it's fine. Top, I'm on the top of, right. I'm on the top of the world looking 
Down on creation, it's the only explanation I can find. I think that's what it says. Huh. Someone it says, it it somebody like put, it could be. Somebody put it on the uh <laughs> Your love put me on the top of the world. Hi, Miss Dungy. Hey. Mrs. Dungy said, look, I hit my like button, hit your like button. <laughs> I did it, you do it now. When you said that, it sounded like you were saying... I want an Oompa Loompa now, mm. Daddy. <laughs> the network says that was sung by Donna Fargo. What was? What, Top of the World? Oh, was it? No. I don't know why I thought it was Karen Carpenter. Look at me, look. It says top of the world. Maybe the different versions of it. Yeah, because this right here I'm looking at is the carpenters. But let me let me put up on the top of the world looking down on creation. It's the only explanation I can find. I'm probably not even singing it right. Oh, uh, you do. That's right. It's the love that I. It's the love that I found. No. Yes. It's the love that I found ever since you've been around. Your love's put me at the top of the world. That was a nice song. I'm mean, gonna put Donna Donna Fargo up here. The words are something else, aren't they? She might have done a version. Let's see, Donna Fargo. Let's see what they say here. Yeah, there you go. She does it too. Donna did it too, y'all. Mm-hmm. We had to check her version out one day because sometimes you'll hear like a Betcha Magali Wall. Everyone they'll mention to everyone else, but the version that I like is Phyllis Simon's version. Well, you remember when uh when Luther Vandross did uh one of the songs over uh, House is Not a Home? Um, I think uh, Di Di Barbara Streisand did a house not a home, but then Luther covered it. No, don't you? Uh, don't you remember? You told me you loved me, baby. Who did that one? Who sung it? Originally? The Carpenters. Well, they did the original. I that? thought so. Okay, you're probably right. I think so. <laughs> right, that's the, the Carpenters one. wrote it though. Okay, gotcha. But I think Barbara Streisand did the other one. The house is not a home originally. Just like creeping. Superstar. Remember? Right, creeping. He did a super into my dream. And Stevie wanted did that, but by the time uh Luther got home. Home. <laughs> and, and that was something because I mean you have to understand, I put Stevie Wonder in, in the highest level of respect. And and the thought that someone would try to sing a Stevie Wonder song as a cover was like, what? But Luther did that thing. I'm sorry, okay? He did it. Right. If you remake a song, you got to come with it, okay? I, by the time Luther got through, I, I didn't even remember Steve, okay? <laughs> In my dream. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Remember that? In my dream. Woo, Luther did that. Zell song says Luther should have sung other people's songs because then you just forgot all about this other person's <laughs> song. Exactly. Ooh, Luther could go, couldn't he? Oh my Luther, God, Luther, wow, could Luther could sing. Boy, that, that that's like a once in a lifetime voice. I mean, the first time this I is like a roll voice. of toilet paper. <laughs> Trace, why are you making toilet paper crafting? This is like a roll. <laughs> Look. You can put this on a card, okay, and send it to somebody about sorry you're feeling sick. <laughs> sorry you're not feeling well. So you just you roll it like just like this, take this off of here, right? 
don't put the glue on that part, but just take it up here and then stick a whole bunch of them on a card base and say, sorry, you're not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cute, right? You, you, you look and see the friend snuck in here. Sorry, you're under the weather. Oh, I, Tracy, I was sc scrolling back, right? Mm -hmm. See the friends, who, by the way, is fired, okay, said, Tracy, you wouldn't have fallen for Bill in his friend's vest. <laughs> You know you're fired, okay? Talking about Ooh. my Michael Jackson gym vest. Okay? That's, that's facts, though. <laughs> No lies told there, okay. Bill talking about, oh, yeah, I would have. Mm -mm. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Was Luther married to Dion one way? There was always this rumor that no, that I he, never that heard he married that. her or something. I had never heard that rumor. Bye, Sheila Overstreet. Enjoy. Joy. <laughs> oh. Look, I only sing songs that I can, like, so kind of sing pretty good, okay? You know? Like, if you're happy and you know it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, songs like that. Songs like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Did you sing at my wedding? Yes, but it had to be either Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star or Happy If You Know It. Happy and You Know It. Well, you ain't going to have me out here singing Luther. <laughs> That blue suit is what made what what had me, right, Pat? Pat? Exactly. Pat, no. That suit was too bright. I'm sorry. I, I was blinding, wasn't I? But you wore it like I had already I liked you. I had already liked you. His his suit was this color, y'all. It was this color. His his he wore the pants. <laughs> hmm. He was <laughs> what color is that? You baby, it, hold, baby the way, blue. Hold on, the way you it wasn't baby blue. Baby blue was like a lighter. This was like this. A, Bill was like this. It was a turquoise. Okay, but they're calling this one baby blue. Turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> Trace, it was nice. <laughs> and Trace, when you talking about the pants, you you made them think I didn't have a shirt or something. I couldn't see. Did the, you at least like the shirt? I, I don't know. Color the shirt was because the pants were so bright. The, hold on, the shirt was like a cream colored with some of this <gasps> and like a light, like lavender kind of. It was and tight, boy. And you're admitting it. <laughs> it was no like the that was not tight. Pants, that was not tight. Back exactly. in the day, people pricing. Back back in the day, me and my sister would have laughed you all the way, <laughs> all the way home. Okay. <sighs> That says that's the first chance you saw us since you laughed so hard she had to keep watching. <laughs> Deb C, you're getting close to the, getting fired. On the hills of love. Is that what is, is that how I Okay, said? you since she huh? said but style and you you you're back off for of being fired now. So what now? On the uh, wings of love. Oh, on the wings. Why am I saying? On the hills, hills of love. <laughs> I said hills. On the hills you of love. You can be on the hill. You think you're thinking of down in the, the, the sound of music. What's that? Uh, the hills are alive. Yeah, that. No, Bill. <laughs> On the wings of love, only the two of us together flying high. <laughs> A flying high upon the wings of love. Do, 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 do. And I love your turquoise pants. They make me want to dance. <laughs> I'm so I am filled with romance. <laughs> Not in those pants. <laughs> Sarah, my shoes were for dating, okay? But they were black. They were black. Sarah. Sarah. They were black, Sarah. They weren't blue. They were black. Look, my sister for the first time, and I was like, oh, Lord, he done wore them pants. I was so cool. I was like, please don't let him wear them pants. 
I, I, I said, my, si- I said my sister gonna have to hold her laughing in because she will fall out on the floor in front of you. <laughs> Your sister said, Woo, look how, look how, what a snippy dress. She did not say is. that. She was like, Man, he's a nice guy, but those pants. <laughs> Oh, do, do, do you guys have a pants fetish in your family? <sighs> Those pants. Are you still looking for that? that you might as well be wearing that stamp. <laughs> yes, pants. I don't care about a blue pants. Yeah. I'm trying to find my stamp, okay? Oh, my goodness. How funny is that? <laughs> Ten. Uh. Mickey Dixon says, don't want to see you prance. <laughs> Oh, boy. Don't think you have a chance. He thought he was cool, okay. In the pants, I was like, golly, no, he didn't. Because you came by my house to pick me up. Yes. And then we went to my mother. So once he got out the car and had them pants on, I was like, golly. Like, Ooh, he's so I, said, I said, how do I tell him? <laughs> I said, we still dating, kind of, you know, kind of a more, oh, yeah, seri- kinda kind of a more serious dating. Like, how do you tell this man? Like, and he uh, should dress like a, like a, like a, a mortician. No, that these, <laughs> this, this, color, black. this color pants does not work. Okay. You can only wear black pants. That's it. You were like, yeah, he nice, but his, them pants. Amy's back. Them pants are a deal breaker. Amy says she has to call a customer back at three, but we'll be off at three. Mm, mm, mm. Those pants, boy. Oof. You know what's a great? You know what's a great song. What's let me think of the name of the song? Considering who wrote it and the and the things that he was all involved in, the song was absolutely phenomenal. It was a. Uh, Oh my God! No, the song was. It was somebody's high school song, I bet. Right? Is that who you're talking about? Let's see if they know who it is. Don't tell them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I bet somebody gonna get it. It was somebody's. I I bet Uh, it was somebody's high school song too. It was like. Let's see if y'all can think who I'm thinking of. Who am I thinking of, y'all? I'm going to give y'all one minute to think of who I'm thinking of. It's amazing that this man wrote this song because the song is so incredible considering all the just... Mm, yeah. It's amazing. I love... I, as an artist, I love him. I hate the fact that he got wrapped. He was wrapped up and, and tarnished with all the stuff that he's... Just, all the allegations. He, he just... It wasn't allegations. Amy K says it's not a clue. Okay, I just going to tell you. Don't tell them yet. Don't tell them yet. Well, I got to give her, Somebody's better, give her a better clue. Somebody's going to know who it is. Because some of the high schools had their his song as a theme song. Because it was like so uplifting. Yes, Netwear, Art yeah. Kelly. I believe I can fly. Mm, mm, mm. Now, wasn't that a good... Look at this. I used to think that I could not go on, and life was nothing but an awful song. But now I know the meaning of true love. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. If I can see it, definitely not allegations. Then exactly. I can do it. Amy. If I just believe it, there's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Okay, we good. Man. No, I think about it every night and day. Spread mm. my wings and fly away. I mm. believe I can soar. I see me running through that open door. Mm. I believe I can fly. The words don't mean... Actually, the meaning is now different. <laughs> Hold up. Isn't that an incredible song? Yeah, but, but now that I'm listening to the words, it's kind of like... Mm, well, okay. Right. Hold up. <laughs> see, I was on the verge of breaking down. <laughs> It's all right, Bill. Sometimes silence can seem so loud. Woo-hoo-hoo. There are miracles in life I must achieve. But we need first, to move I know on. It I, I think we need to move on me. too. Because I don't, yeah. I need yeah. more. You gotta admit that was a great song, though. I mean. Yeah, but now that I'm listening to it, it's like, mm, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to move on. I was, I was on, trying to tell but you. But he was, he was a great. It's like the pants. I was trying to tell you to stop. You can't you compare kept, my pants to R. Kelly. Going. You kept going. Well, I told you to stop with the with the lyrics, and you just kept going. <laughs> you cannot compare. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Bertha. Exactly. Bertha and Eileen. Like, we do not Eileen. want to be highlighting him on my crafting live. Okay. <laughs> oh, deer in the headlights, Bill. Deer in the so headlights. Kelly says it was her school graduation. Right, it was, that's what I'm saying. It was a lot of people's school. It was song. amazing, but it, she says sorry the devil had to make an interruption in his life. Okay. <laughs> Livy! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, oh. Chris. Okay, I'll stop. Thank you. Exactly. Hi, Serafina. <laughs> Bill said, no, I'm singing my song. I'm like, all the, all the songs out there, and all the artists out there, he chooses that one. No, I'm just saying, the, the contrast between the okay. song and the man, that's all. The man is the song, okay? Let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> That's know. how I feel, Chris. I don't. I'm like, mm mm. Not there. Anyway. <laughs> so, how do you like this paper bead? <laughs> yeah, wings of leave on wings. That was a good one now. <sighs> That's, um,. Uh, Beth, Beth Midler. Beth Miller did that song. Beth Midler can sing. Yes, she can. I got a little. No, I ain't gonna be talking about that, DFC. You don't have to worry about that one. <laughs> She's next. I'm gonna start talking about did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all are funny. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm kind of where you are, uh, Amy. Look, I got to be nosy. I, I have to stop to read the... Uh... <laughs> Mm. That's when the circus would come to uh to Detroit. Mm. You know, Trace and I got invited to a circus. You know, back in the day, we went to a circus. I think it takes us like twenty dollars or something, right? I said, okay, let me go. Let me get this look. And the ticket is like two hundred and thirty dollars or something crazy. I was like, what? Oh, for each person. I said, oh yeah. no, 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 no. That was um. Uh, what's was, that? That was Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, the tickets that we my like, son wanted, wanted us to get, it was like $200. I said, look, you got to put me in the nosebleed section if they have one. Mm -mm. Plus, if the Tigers are on the elevator. Ariel get, said it's incredible. If, if they get loose, I'll be far enough away where I can get away. I don't know if it's that kind of circus, is it? I don't know. I never Cirque du Soleil. I think it's a different kind of... Okay. Uh, let's see what y'all saying. So, Tracy, you gonna do some of those tassels, aren't you? No, you're just making a bunch of. We're, we're using up our scraps, babe. It's oh. called it's called scrapathon. <laughs> Crystal, don't you envision Tracy's face <laughs> or mine at that exact moment? Okay, don't do it. Oh goodness. <laughs> This will be cute on a little jewelry box. This will be really cute on a jewelry box. 
Jenny's getting inky with it. Hey. She Jenny says she thinks it's more acrobatics and stuff like that. Right. Tracy and I went to something where the person was so bendable that they bent they bent backwards and put their head all the way to their feet. And like they started walking. Remember that? Mm-hmm. They grabbed their ankles and started walking. I said, like, oh my God. I felt it in my back. Okay. Ooh, how in the world is this person doing it? Going round and round and round and round and round. <laughs> cause life is a three ring circus. <sighs> That's cause you saw him saying that circus song. Mm. All of the ups and downs of a carousel. Mm. Yeah, he definitely was gifted. Going round and you know round what? That is so round. right. And round, Crystal says, and round. songwriting is a gift. We choose not to live up to what we sing or teach. The gift is still the gift. Yep. And that is true. Sonny Creole is back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add more on to this one. So I'm making it, I want it to be a, a bit larger. Sonia, I missed you so much. Oh, did y'all tune into uh, Craft Roulette last night? That's kind of something me. Karen says she thought you're gonna sing going round in circles like a bird up in the sky. Going round in circles. Oh yeah, that's going it. Going round like a bird up in the sky. Something like that, right? <laughs> Here we go around in circles. That was uh Billy Preston. Da, 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 da. Go with the sound effects. Anita Dawson. And Goosey. Oh, it was challenging last night. Oh boy. I now have to go look and see what the challenge was. What is this remind me of a toilet paper roll? Mm -mm -mm. Walter, would you like to answer that for her? Make a card. <laughs> Walter's like, uh, this could be a this could be a card, y'all. You just have a long <laughs> strip of paper. I don't think I want to go that deeply into it. <laughs> You're on your own. <sighs> Tina Mayer. Hey, Tina. Rubber band, man. That's what they're telling you, though. That was a nice song, too. Yeah, right up there with Rubber Band Man. That was, uh, do, 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 who did the Rubber Band Man? Let me look at him. Let's see who it is. The Spinners. It was the Spinners. Hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down my hat. Hurry now and don't be late because we ain't got time to chat. You and me, we going out to catch the latest sound. Guaranteed to blow your mind so high you won't come down. So prepare yourself for a rubber band, man. Now y'all bringing up some memories, okay? Memories. <laughs> What the spinners are what it did, uh, Sadie. Let's see, let me look that up.
There's so much you could do with these scraps, okay? Going round and round and round and round. I don't even know what the the rest of the song is like. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I only know like one line songs, okay? That's everybody. We only know the main words. Like Michael Jackson, beat it, beat it, beat it. And know what I say after that? I only know beat it. You you know the song Ain't No Stopping Us Now? That was the song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the song back mm -hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of my, uh, my track days. Because I used to listen to that song to motivate me. Well, it was a very motivational song, that's for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finally coming around. Pull up the lyrics to that one. I want to see what it says. What's the name of it again? Ain't no stopping us now. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't put it was ain't. It just came right up. I bet. It's still a great song. Like there's some songs that just stand the test of time. McFadden and Whitehead. I know my songs too, Crystal, when I look them up on, when I Google them. <laughs> Amy Cave said her favorite song will always be We Are the World. Mm. You know what? I read that you know stopping us now. They it took them five minutes to write it. I mean, Fatty Whitehead was like a crack songwriting team, and they always wanted to sing, but the record company wouldn't let them. And they said, "Okay, after begging and begging and begging, they let them do this song right here." Mm -hmm. And they went to the top of the charts. Wow. Which song? Bertha, which song was? That particular one? Ain't no stopping us? I know that was like, let me see the words to it. Let's see. Words are so tiny, huh? Okay, so it says, ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Ain't no stopping us now. We've got the groove. It's like crafting, right? When you're in that groove. Yeah. Right. You just ain't no stopping us now, Bill. Okay. But look at this. There's been so many things that that's held us down. That's life. Okay. This is life now. Okay. But now it looks like things are finally coming around. If you hold on, things will start to come around. Uh, where did I leave off? I know we've got a long, long way to go, but we can't look like that because if we do look far ahead, it'll be too too daunting for us, right? Yep. And where we'll end up? I don't know. She said. So it says, I know we've got a long, long way to go, and when we we'll, and where we'll end up, I don't know, but I have faith that things will turn out for the best, regardless, right? Right, because the next line actually literally says, but we won't let nothing hold us back. Won't let nothing hold us We're back. We're putting ourselves together. Put We're ourselves, putting ourselves right. together. We're polishing up polishing our act. Polishing up our act, because that's all you can do is keep going, right? And then it says, if you felt we've been held down before, I know you'll refuse to be held down anymore. Be held down anymore. It's just making you making you stronger for the next thing. Don't you let nothing, nothing stand in your way. I want y'all to listen to every word I have to say. Mm, mm, mm. He goes on to another thing of ain't no stop at us now, but then he hits him with, I know you know someone that has a negative vow. And if you're trying to make it, they only push you aside. Mm. They really don't have, they really don't have nowhere to go. They don't have nowhere to Asking go. Asking where they're going, they, they don't, don't know. know. So they're going to tell you 
about what you should be doing and they have no direction. <laughs> right. But, the, but here's the thing. We're going to ask them anyway. Because mm. we're encouraging, right? Well, well they definitely going to uh, uh, volunteer the information. <laughs> even if you don't ask. Even if you don't ask them. Oh, you played the clarinet? Amy K played the clarinet. Who else played the instrument? I played the trumpet. Bill played the trumpet. Now where it says, we will rock you. Remember, we will rock you? Yeah. We will, we will. We used to do that. We be stomping your feet. They used to do that when we were warming up for basketball games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that doo doo will be stomping the stomp. This right here, stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, and all over the gym. Can you imagine how loud that is? That's really loud. <laughs> and then you kind of got into the rhythm. We will. We I think they still play that at games, so. though. And when you did your layups, you got into the rhythm. You could feel that thing. Woo! What you talking about? See, the first play alto and baritone sax and piano. Wow. I played the flute briefly. I'm going to tell you where the brief briefly came in. The ace is guitar. The music teacher, y'all. The music teacher. Mm, mm, mm. You didn't like him? What do you mean? He told me I wasn't playing right, right? So he took my... um. See, mother had to come up to the school again. He took my flute, right? And he told me I wasn't playing it right. Guess what he does? Takes the flute and he plays, puts his mouth on my flute. And you didn't like that, did you? Huh? <laughs> and you Bill, never, did, you, did you ever load a flute again? Did you, you the man put his mouth on my flute. She's trying to show me how to play on my flute. That was it for me. I told my, my mother, because my mother usually says, you know, you're going to play, you stick it out till such and such. You could have sterilized it. Bill. What? <laughs> yeah. It's depressible, huh? Mm. Mm -mm. Exactly. <laughs> if you would have seen this teacher, oh my goodness. He he just didn't look right. Was those kind of guys something? always looked they were drooling? <laughs> if not, if their lips was <laughs> moist and you just knew any moment I now, told my mother. a drop was gonna come falling out the corner. I said, Mom, don't right spit inside the flute. The spit is inside the oh flute. Oh my god, yeah, because I seen I we used to blow the stuff out of my trunk. It's right. Just, so I'm like, uh-uh. I was I was like one of those kids that had like a what do you call it? Nice like, it's like a German germophobia like thing. Mm. I will wipe down some stuff, y'all. That part is true. <laughs> her, I told, her and area. Look, I was like, Mom, please don't like. I mean, I don't like even touching doorknobs. Even now, like it was because of that man. That was that was fourth of fifth, <clears throat> I think fourth or fifth grade because of him. I understand the Neil Sampson. Neil Sampson said, if the human voice is an instrument, I That's had instrument. one back in the day. I never I, picked I feel up, like that same way. Nick, I never Neil. picked up a flute then. I could have been like great at flute playing. Okay. Amy Cave said her band teacher would throw his baton at students. Goodness. Who were not who were horse playing and not paying attention, which is probably pretty much most of them. Look, so so what ended up happening, right? We, we at the parade, right? Now, this is like another year later. Same teacher. So, you know how the band marches and stuff? You know, I was a cheerleader by this time. Forget band. It's just not working for me. So, we were going to be marching in the parade. And, of course, Mr... Um, Mr. Band teacher, Mr. let me just say that. 
Mr. He, Saliva Lips. My brother would play the trumpet. So apparently he didn't think my brother was good enough. So when they came to the marching band thing, like they're in the parade, he's giving out the capes and stuff. You know those capes they wear for the marching band? You know what I'm talking about, Bill? It's like these capes that go over your shoulder. Oh, like, like, like the Dracula capes. Like that, right. He didn't give my brother one. Mm. And everybody else had one. Now, I have told y'all about my father, right? Like, like, he was just not a nice person. So this is elementary school. We marching and stuff. And as soon as that man told my brother that he wasn't, no, my father asked him, why didn't you give him a cape, his son a cape? And he said, well, it's only going to go to the um, the people that could really play, I guess, you know. Oh, what are you trying to say? And so uh, I was like, good. golly, this is not going to go well. What, what, are you at a parade or something? At the parade, Bill. He Everybody watching, I was like, take a I was like, that is, child, I man. was like, that is not my father. Look, within two minutes, my brother had a cake. <laughs> I don't know what he said to that band teacher. Did he go buy the cake? I was already or? mad at the band teacher because I wasn't in band because of him. I'm like, I'm not, mm -mm, I'm done after what he had done. So, <sighs> my father would not let the parade go on until that man gave my brother a cake. Mm. Had to stay in step. Boy, when you see them marching bands coming, them marching bands are like awesome. I was in the cheerleader section, so I got to just, you know, march with my um, saddle shoes and my, uh, my, uh, and hold the pom poms. So that's all I had to do. Your sister played uh, bass clarinet and was in ROTC. That's like Chelsea. She wanted to play the um what she she wanted to play she wanted to, she was supposed to play the the saxophone, right? That's what we had agreed on. She was like, Mom, I want to play the saxophone. I want to play the saxophone. She came home with this huge case, and I was like, that doesn't look like a saxophone. That thing is huge. Like, <laughs> am I wrong? Like, is something going on? She pulls that thing out. I was I had to go look it up online. She ended up playing the bassoon for her entire high school career. She played the bassoon. She did quite well, actually. She did extremely well. I was like, can you take that thing back? I said, Chelsea, who is lugging that thing? She's going to be lugging that thing home every day. She lugged that thing home. And learn to play it so well. I was like a bassoon. It was the last instrument I did not realize that she was going to play. And she was like, Mom, you don't have to play, pay the fee. They just said, hey, here. You know what I'm saying? They told her she didn't that have to been, pay. That should have been the first. <laughs> that should have been the first. They said she didn't have to pay the fee. I was like, oh, Everybody okay. Everybody else got a five hundred dollar fee. I, I said, well, best. Take this. Don't worry about it. No fee. <laughs> oh no, I'll pass on that. One. <laughs> I said, <laughs> okay, well, that soon it is. <laughs> Carmina. No, Bill over here looking like. Well, Dem C said they tried to make me play trombone. I, you know, I never could understand a trombone. How in the world can you know where to stop that slide? Mm. You know, you had to memorize what it felt like. If you started playing in seventh grade, you got to be growing every year. So every year you had to relearn what, what it felt like. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm five feet in an, in an eighth grade, and by the time I graduate, I'm six four or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, arms are longer. Well, know? guess what? We didn't have to rent her bassoon, did we? Mm -mm. 
We sure didn't. I was like, oh, okay. That's as long as she wants to play it. Yeah. Now, up north, right? So you don't rent the instruments. They, 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 the school purchases them, and mm. then they just issue you the instrument. Unless you want to buy your own instrument. Right. Hi, Don Connor. Hey, Don. Don says, just popping in to say hi. Hubby made plans for us today. Oh, nice. I didn't have the heart to say it, but <laughs> I have scrap a thon, uh. hubby. He's like, you thought you had scrap a thon. <laughs> I got plans. Oh, Cindy says her brother played the trombone. Wow, Cela France. My brother taught himself all instruments by ear. He even played a, a saw. He played a saw, the kind you um you cut wood with. Wow. So every everything was saw. everything was a um instrument to him. At least his grandson plays the trombone. Ooh. Wow. So is that one whoop son? Norman Watson says, I've been stamping the whole time. Now I'm making a car for Crab Roulette. She's been stabbing. You said what? Stamping. Oh, stamping. <laughs> oh, it's not like stabbing. You, I, I thought you said stabbing. Mm -hmm. I was like, huh? <laughs> Amy Cave says anything is an instrument. Even anything jokes. is an instrument when you think about it. Yeah, how, you know what? I remember he hauled it had this thing, this metal thing you stuck in your mouth and you hummed on it. You know what I'm talking about? Let me see if I can mm -hmm. find it. I'm sure people know what I'm talking about. And I got one of those things. Oh, she said it, it is Warren Wolf's son. He gonna be bad then. Warren Wolf gonna be Being good. <laughs> Ooh, Warren Wolf gonna have him hooked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amy said, oh my goodness, I love Hee Haw. Wasn't Goldie Hawn on, on, on Hee Haw, babe? I think so. Where, oh where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? <laughs> Remember that song? I right? searched the world over and thought I found true love. He never left me if we were gone. <laughs> and all you did was, as a kid, you waited for that one part. I waited for that, that. <laughs> it sounded like something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, she was on laughing. That's right. Yep, she sure was. Goldie Hawn was on laughing. Because we watch that too. Uh, have they? Schools have, uh, moved away from arts and moved into sciences mm. more than anything. Yeah, my niece, she went to a performing arts school when she graduated, what, two years ago? But she went to a, a performing arts school. The standards, they keep lowering the standards. I heard uh, uh, George Carlin was talking, he was complaining that they were lowering the standards for schools so bad, so low now that to get in college, all you're going to need is a pencil. Mm. 
<laughs> see, LaFrance, I loved Hee Haw. If I had... Oh, if I had bad luck, I had no luck at all. I love that one. That's Bill's favorite. I love that song. <laughs> I'm sure they have like reruns of it, right? Y'all, I found a new series. I found a new series. What's it called? Bill, you're watching with me. I forgot the name of it though. Apples uh Apples Don't Fall or something. It's weird. Apples fall. Far apples don't fall or something. Apples fall far. Apples don't fall. Something like that. It's on um it's on Peacock. I did not know Strawberry is in the room with us. Strawberry's in the room. I did not realize she was in here all this time. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Going down memory lane with saddle shoes. Okay. Vicky, that, ooh. She said, Tracy, you got me hooked on a million little things. Okay. Ooh. Here that, it is. That million little things. This thing right this? here. Well, what are we talking about, babe? I've been looking. I, I was trying to show you all. It's like a you put this in your mouth and kind of hum on it. Like, mm. I don't know what it's called, though. Okay. <laughs> a Jew, Jew's heart. It's called a Jew's heart. But yeah, a million little things is incredible. A million little things. That's our series right there. I but this other one, that. this other one is going to be. Bye, Emily. She's going to the soccer game. And tell your uh, grandson happy birthday. He needs to kick a, a, a soccer goal for his birthday. Tell her, tell all his friends to move out of the way, and to give him the ball. <laughs> What's up, Hector? You can hear. Annette, I went to a Catholic school. Uh, Annette, I went to a Catholic school from the first grade up until the sixth. I need a couple more white scraps. But all my friends went to a normal, like a public school, and I begged my mother. Then she got tired and of listening. You got there, and then what? When I got, okay. You liked it? I did like it. I did like it. But I'm gonna tell you something. I did a paper in the sixth grade and I turned that paper in in the seventh, excuse me, in the ninth grade when I got to high school and I got an A on it. Mm. The same paper that I had in the sixth grade Catholic school. Gay Tan is so happy. She said, guess what again happened for Gay Tan? She found her stamp. She couldn't even focus. <laughs> <sighs> Amy, I sure did. She said, Bill got to public school and lost his mind. I was so happy. Hey, Tan, I can actually say that I'm happy for you. Because you couldn't think about nothing else but that's there. You had tunnel vision on that thing. This is a little bit wrinkled, but it'll still work. So, Gay hey, Tan, where was it? Okay, Norma Watson wants me to read. You know what I'm saying? Let me go find Norma. Use up some more white paper here. While I'm looking for her, Amy K said something that's really interesting. She said, that's the thing, though. All this stuff used to be available in one school, and you didn't have to go to a specialized school to get trades, right? Yep. Arts and technology. Yep. So true. I want to know that too. Where was it, Gaten? You're looking for someone's comment, huh? 
Yes. Ali Moore, you know what? I'm reading Ali's comment. She says, I think every child should play an instrument to sing. Very important later in life because it requires a certain level of discipline. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the self-gratification that sometimes when you're feeling a certain way, you can always go to that instrument or sing or something and it's like self-healing. I don't know why so I'm trying to find what she said. Plus it helps with math skills, which was one of the reasons why I was like, um, both, well, Chelsea uh, in particular uh, played, you know, the best soon, like her whole, uh, from middle school and high school. And um, but I was encouraging both of them. Arielle had done the clarinet only for a little while, but like she, one had, term. she had um remember she went into the hospital right after that. So she had like school wasn't consistent for her. Okay, this is what Norma says. I've been stamping this whole time. Now I'm making a car for Claire Foulet. They showed the someone put the parameters up there. Right, because it's mathematical. Mm -hmm. It helps improve. Once I, I would look at all these studies about different, <laughs> different things when the girls were growing up. You know. The egg said her craft desk desk looks just lovely right now. No, she says it's a mess. Hmm? Oh, oh, Norma Watson put the parameters up there. Let me go look again. Norma Watson. I'm going slow, maybe. I... Okay, Norma Watson says, Tracy, the parameters for Craft Roulette are include action, oval, colors of northern, northern lights, action, oval, and blackboard. Huh. Okay. Hmm. That seems like it would be somewhat challenging. Which tune, uh, Sonia Creole? Reminds me of that show, Name That Tune. Do they even have that on anymore? I understand, Gay Tan. Because that happened to me last night. I was uh, looking for this one sound on my computer, and I simply could not find it. And I was so mad. And I just, I could have used a different one, but I wanted that one. Yep, always busy doing something. Keep the kids busy, right? If it wasn't like swim lessons. Uh, I remember Chelsea joined the knitting club at her school. They had a knitting club. I was like, ah, oh. she said, she, mom, can I join? Yep. <laughs> I can. Say no more. Okay. The Chelsea school had a pretty good band, but they were being uh, mentored by, it's, it was a, it's a high school down here called Lassiter. And for years, they had the number one band in the United States, right? And we got invited to go down to the Atlanta Philharmonica, uh, down there to hear them, right? They were so incredible. I was like, oh, my. They, they, they sound like they could have played in the Atlanta Philharmonica. Mm. And they would break up. They had a bunch of times they would break them into smaller groups. Groups of four, groups of three, group of six, like cortex, stuff like that. And they would jam, buddy. What's that movie you always watch? Uh, with, with the, uh, with the mean bald head guy. What, what, what is that with, movie? With throws the stumble at the guy. The guy had a mental breakdown. Bill loved that show. Oh my God, I, I watched it again. This is a couple of my last one. <laughs> Come on, y'all. What's the I'm name like of the movie? watching that again? Whiplash. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's it. How many of y'all seen Whiplash? That was a great movie. I'm sorry. 
That makes you hate band teachers. <laughs> <laughs> that that guy was not nice though. Because I'm I mean he was so demanding. I the the the, the musicians he was messing with, I thought they were good already. And then he was acting like that was a real, it was a good movie, but I don't I don't watch it like over and over. Bill loves that movie. These look like little toilet paper rolls. I know I keep saying that, but it <laughs> little toilet paper rolls. Whiplash was great. Yep, Kathy, see it really was. We like stuff like that. August Rush. Oh, I got you, Sonny Green. We we love Oh my um, god, I love how many of y'all seen all August Rush? That was a great one. And look, August Rush, the little boy in August Rush, is not a good doctor. Ain't that something else? And you know what? He was such a good actor in August Rush. I couldn't imagine him being anything else. But now as the good doctor, I can't imagine him not being autistic. Yeah, he, he really is playing that part. Hold up. How many of you in watch August Rush and saw the little African-American kid play the guitar and sing? They, they gave him like a, about a a eight minute segment where he sung and played the guitar. I was like, oh my God. And now Tracy he recently and I won a, a Grammy. Won a Grammy. The Bill, because Bill was like, yeah, he, he kept was... rewinding this one part. And I was like, Bill, I heard the boy sing uh play. Oh, Tracy, he was he sang phenomenal. and he played, right? Yes. And we were like, and Bill said, kept rewinding that one little part. And Bill was like, that guy right there is talented. I said, he's gonna be somebody. <laughs> that guy right there, man. And I waited for years trying to find that guy. And I was like, Bill, the guy from August Rush, the little boy who's a grown man now, has now won his uh, won a Grammy. That guy is bad. I think he home. produces music. Yeah, he does. I'm glad he followed. You know, Dawn, don't they look like toilet paper rolls? Walter. <laughs> Walter didn't uh, answer the question. Just Walter. don't get it caught on your shoe and start walking out of Walter the bathroom. Walter, like, I'm throwing me under the bus. <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Got the whole toilet paper roll going all the way down the street, stuck on your shoe. <laughs> Bertha says good doctors on her favorite shows. Tracy's sister, Yvonne, she loves She loves that. Good I, I got to get back into it because she loved that good I'm doctor. just doing a million little things, right? A million little things. That's our show right there. Yeah, I love Good Doctor too. I ain't gonna lie. Kids, he gets so excited. I love it. You know what? Okay, Deb, she's talking about the guy who's in the movie, in the Godzilla movie. She says, "I really thought he was British." But no, he's just a talented actor. I've seen so many British actors sound like whatever, American, Southern, whatever. But when you hear them really talk in their normal British accent, I mean, if you ever listen to E.J. say Elba talk, it's like, oh my God. This guy's amazing. Then he's acting. <laughs> Norma, Norma, that is hilarious. <laughs> and say, thinking of you, right? Norma said, we should put those little toilet paper rolls <laughs> on cards during COVID. That would have been, been a good one. And then just said, thinking of you. <laughs> Need paper? Who? Running out? Got paper. <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. He should have been saying himself. That I saw was people hilarious. Who selling rolls for ten dollars a roll. You know what I'm saying? It was really expensive. We ended up um, getting some extra uh, toilet paper, just buying some for our neighbor, and just leaving it outside her front door, um, just so she can, just because, basically. Yeah, she didn't ask for nothing, but yeah, we just said, "Hey, let's get some and give one to the neighbor." Where's Goob? He's down and got his head trapped. Go get my Goob. He keeps following Ariel or somebody well, down She's there. gone now, so. Right. But now he's trapped because he's scared to come up because of the cat. 
He can't see those to little toilet papers would go for a dollhouse. Ah, that's a good idea. Hold on, Kathy C. What was it? What was the year you started your stash? What year was it, Kathy? It's time to it's time to break that stash up. It's time to just start reaching for the paper that you've been saving for the perfect time that never comes. That's what she's doing. No, we need you to do it today. That's hard to do because try as you might, there is there is some paper that everybody has that they just simply can't bring themselves to use it. I will use everything I have. Bill is August Rush on Netflix. I don't know. Y'all would really enjoy that August movie. Rush, it's oh a, my goodness. It's a movie. If you have kids, your kids will I've love watched it. it more than once. Hey, Willie, your 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 uh ten year old would love August Rush. The kid is he's a kid about like that age, and he's so talented. Come on. He's like, you don't have no foot. You want to come out here close. <laughs> Gooby looking at Bill from That's downstairs. Get Gooby. Is that what you wanted me to do? Huh? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Okay. I forgot. <laughs> that quick, huh? Hey, I'm standing down. I'm standing at the top of the stairs looking down at it. But still can't remember for the life of me. I'll have to go back and watch uh, Craft Roulette. It looks like we're still holding the record, y'all, for most cards submitted. Episode 207. Fun, fun. I think we're still holding the record. <laughs> Anel Sampson, you said the Now y'all, these are paper beads, okay? <laughs> that happen to look like toilet paper rolls. You can string them all together and make a toilet uh toilet paper roll necklace. <laughs> ah. I would love to see what you make with them, Anel. What, Gaten? You better submit those cards. You said you want us to keep the record? <laughs> Uh, Bertha said, yes, you are the record holder for Craft Roulette. For now, right? Isn't that something else? Wow. That was fun. That's because Mindless Crafting has the best people in it. Oh, well, you know what? Y'all showed up for us, and, and that was just such a proud moment, seeing all of the, um, all the familiar, our familiar crafty family on there, too, encouraging us on, and, and now we got some craft rouletteurs. <laughs> they had 400 last week. What do we have? What's our record? Four, uh... 460 something, 470, something like that. Does anyone know? <laughs> I think who had the record? I think May May had no May May. Oh no, it was uh 473. Is that what we had? Gina K, I think, had the record. 
I think they said May May had the work record and then Gina K had the record. Well, if we're ever on there again, maybe we can set another record, right? That's amazing. I, I, you know, that's amazing. I just never thought that we would do that. I just, we just went on there, had a good old time with everybody. Y'all just showed up. Yep, we're still here, Julie. We're still here for 28 minutes. Bill went downstairs to care for the dogs. Look, everyone's thinking that I'm on here making to a toilet roll. Uh <laughs> <sighs> That's hilarious. Okay. Look, so if you really want this to be realistic, all I'm going to do is show you this. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing else. <laughs> this is one of those projects you don't want to distress. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing else, okay? <laughs> I'm not to show Bill that when he comes back. <laughs> don't distress this project. Okay. <laughs> Karen Hankerson, we're just a crazy bunch. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't breathe y'all. Y'all got <laughs> box with toilet paper. Are you distressing? <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Dempsey, stop. Y'all stop it, okay? <laughs> Could you imagine the sentiments that if you send someone a card like that, that's going to be, it has to be someone who is very, very, <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all got to stop, stop y'all. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I can't with y'all. <laughs> Name it COVID. Stop. <laughs> you could call it this is how we roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. Have a little tiny poop emoji on there. I think it would be a cute card. <sighs> You're on a roll. <laughs> You're on a roll. <laughs> uh, uh, 
You made the honor roll. <laughs> oh, goodness. Y'all are too funny. <laughs> oh. This is how we roll. <laughs> oh, goodness. Y'all are too funny. <sighs> oh my goodness, I can't with y'all. My stomach is hurting. And Bill missed it. He missed it, y'all. You should have had that on last week's craft roulette. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know, our artistic eye, we have such amazing artistic eyes that we saw this differently. These little things that were supposed to be white, white paper beads, they look like toilet rolls. This would be cute, right? This so they're stacked up just like the the uh, packaging, right? You can stack these up just like the packaging, just like Angel Soft, you know. <laughs> just too much information, okay? You could stack them up just like Angel Soft. I cannot believe that it's almost three o'clock. I can't believe it, y'all. A little four pack, <laughs> a bit of plastic. Someone actually sent me an ornament. Somebody sent me a toilet paper roll ornament during the pandemic. Look, you could have something that says, keep going. Now, this is encouraged. Keep going. You're on a roll. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, if only I could make one of those little... What's the thing, the thing that goes inside the toilet uh, paper roll? <laughs> Carmina, you were thinking the, the same thing. And I went there. Okay, I couldn't help it. I didn't see your comment, Gate 10. Let's see. Someone said, don't squeeze the Charmin. I remember that. Let's see. I'm trying to see what. Put Bill's potato head beside the toilet roll paper. We have the one, the ornament one. Is it the ornament? Really? Your mom crocheted toilet paper ornaments for Christmas 2020. I would love to see what that looks like. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Mr. Whipple, that's right. I can still see him, Mr. Whipple. He became the face. I was going to say the face of Charmin toilet paper. I got to add some sparkly stuff to this. Y'all got my... See, now all I'm going to think of now, I can't even think of these, the white ones, as, as uh, paper beads. And if you want, you could extend it out even more. Put more around here. More beads. Please don't squeeze the Charmin. Yep. Mr. Whipple. He became the face of Charmin. Uh, we might actually end up making... Well, I, I'm not sure. Um... Zal, I'm not sure if I'll be showing. I can show examples of it on Tuesday. That paper is so fun. That collection. We have a new um, digital paper collection, y'all. All I can see. That looks cute. It doesn't look like toilet paper anymore. <laughs> Oh. Madge from Palmolive. Yeah, there's certain people that have been in commercials that they are like the face. Like, uh, what's his name? Um, R Rodney Allen Rippey. Uh, he became that little boy. He's a little black boy who became the face of, he was so cute. What was it? Was it, I don't know if it was Jack in the Box. Or was it, was it Burger King or Jack in the Box? But he was so adorable. You remember him? It was, was it Burger King? That little boy was so cute. Don't rock, just roll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all need to stop, okay? That is hilarious. Now I got a little bit of leftover Easter paper too. I'm going to try to make one more of the... Um, We'll make one more of these tassels. I should have enough time, right? Man, thank y'all for hanging out with us. This was fun. As usual. Lots of fun. Let's roll with it, right? I think that'll be a good one. I know we're talking about toilet paper <laughs> and having a ball. Isn't that a shame? Something to laugh about. Okay, that is a little bit crooked. So I'm gonna just cut this off. This is the Easter paper. I just had pieces of it left over. So I'm gonna use this. Because the nice thing about these tassels is basically you don't have to have a particular color. I mean, once you cut it up, you really can't tell what it is.
use a toothpick and put a mini bead on each end. Each end of what? Oh, Jill Pounds, the shower was so much fun. Did y'all do some, y'all play some games? Well, Jill Pounds is here. Jill Pounds. Oh, on each roll, put a bead on each end. Okay, I got you. We played baby bingo. Games are so fun at showers. I was the queen of like making up games for baby showers. I'm sure there's so much now. But there was an era when, you know, so many different games. And plus when I used to do um, my yearly sister soiree. We would we would have a ton of games, a ton of them, kind of icebreaker type games and stuff. Y'all, I found the Dolly Parton cake mix. <clears throat> Just wanted to let y'all know that. Bunch of them. Gay ten, I saw it. Oh, John is on here. Tracy, you know what Gay said? What'd she say? She said, you put Bill's potato head beside the toilet paper. Bill, you missed it, okay? So we had like one individual, you know how this looked like toilet paper? Like oh, y'all doing, doing crazy. We, were, we laughed so hard. He missed it, y'all. He missed it. John Pounds and Walter <clears throat> Russell didn't like you saying that about me. So what happened was, you what know, had happened was, yourself, when he was gone, we were talking about, I said, I said, all I did was I showed them this. I said, whatever you do, don't do this on the toilet paper. Mm. Don't distress. That went over your head, didn't it, babe? I'm looking at the color. <laughs> he got it, y'all. He got it. We cracked up, okay? Judy, you're supposed to be unhappy. We cracked up. Judy says, my client just canceled. I can see the live. Yay. <laughs> Judy, Judy, you're supposed to go, oh, my God, my client canceled. I'm so unhappy. Mm. Judy. Gooby went out and had some, got some sun, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what, Benny Freak? I want to try that, that Dolly Parton banana cake mix. She's, she bought the Dolly Parton banana cake mix and the Dolly Parton shots of frosting. How was the uh, banana? Oh, you, you did it already? So we were coming up with different sayings for this, like the toilet roll. Mm -hmm. What's that coming with? You're on a roll. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is how we roll. This is how they came we... with a bunch of... <laughs> <sighs> Duncan Hines Dolly Parton Caramel Turtle Flavored Brownie. Oh my goodness. Is that one good, Cela Friends? We couldn't find the, um, they were sold out on the frosting at one place. But I refuse to go and buy. They had like four boxes for $90 or somewhere. And you know what? Somebody gonna buy it. Believe it or not. I could not believe it. I was like, and then we couldn't find the um. We found the 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 cake mix for the first time. We actually found the cake mix. Linda Bill said she made the brownies and ate the whole pan. Mm. Okay, Linda Bill, I'm gonna buy it because <laughs> Ariel loves brownies. I see She does. I want to buy it and see what happens. Did I blame it on Linda? Well, Linda said, "I got it, Lily, for the holder, right?" Yeah. Mm. 
Hold up, has anyone had the Dolly Parton uh, uh, cornbread? For some reason, I'm dying to try that. Don't bark now. I try to get you to come up. John, you've been watching a million little things? John? John, been watching a million little things, Bill. You can tell when the cornbread is good, you can eat it by itself without anything else. DFC, you know what? We found the Dolly Parton cake mixes at Walmart. Right, but they didn't have the frosting. The frosting, you have to go to somewhere else. It was like else. it was sold out. Like Kroger or it was just somewhere. Then the bill, I want to try that cornbread, but now you're making me want to try the brownie. Mm. Amy Cave says, that's too much money for cornbread when it's so easy to make. No, it's so easy for you to make. John's okay? been watching it. John's been watching it, Bill. What? This show? Yeah, the show that we watch. John, you were watching? He's been watching it. Million little things. He wrote, he sent us a text. Hmm. Oh man, I forgot to glue the beginning. Y'all got me all it's messed up over here. Fault. <laughs> she threw us off when she got to looking for that stamp. She threw us off. Okay, let me see if I can save this. Dolly probably gonna mess around and make more money on cake mix and stuff like that than she did singing. And that's saying something because I know she got paid singing. Oh, someone said the Ralph's. What's that? I've never heard of that. That's a grocery store? She said the Ralph's near her has the Dolly Parton products. They're owned by Kroger's. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that million little things. I gotta I gotta watch, catch a little bit of it this weekend. You made it. Ubi just came up the stairs. Poor thing. Stairs are hard for him. He really has to think twice about coming up. Look at that. That one didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Tracy put this as, uh, what was that, neck bones? In a crock pot. Don't ask me what I was doing up, okay? You're disintegrated. Don't ask me what I was doing up. You know, you don't have to struggle with the bones. You just tap with your finger. The bones just fall. Like, like come and eat me. I'm talking to me. It's just there, ready. <laughs> just ready. Mm. Exactly. Ali, Ali Moore says, Dolly Parton is a, not a millionaire, a zillionaire after Whitney Houston sang those songs she wrote. I'm sure she's going to go even more with uh, Beyonce uh, has one of her songs on the album. I think it's the Jolene song mm. is on her album. And she got amusement parks. All kinds. She, got she all does kinds a lot. She does a lot. She gives a, a lot to um, a lot of charitable organizations too. I, I like, she's just a good person. Man, Anil Sampson, I remember days like that. One cornbread, it might have been something else, though. She said, my mom was shocked when she found out that I did not eat like cornbread. Mm. In order to make me eat it, she ate it, sit at the dinner table until I ate it. I would sit there until I fell asleep. And you know what? When I woke up for breakfast, they would take that same plate and put it in front of me where mm. everybody else had good stuff. If I didn't eat it, whatever the next meal, they, they kept sitting it out. But they didn't make me get it most of the time, but they would say this. They would usually say, 
But dad, he was notorious for saying, take what you want, but eat what you take. That he meant, I can promise you. He said, you could always get a very little piece. Is that saying out. your eyes are bigger than your stomach, right? I was dad, that's not true. My stomach's bigger than my eyes. Mm. <laughs> you just have to come up, come back with a smart remark, huh? For some reason, I'm liking the string on these. Do a pink. Pink will stand out really nice on this. Deb, see, here's it. She said her dad used to crumble up cornbread into buttermilk and eat it. I never understood it, but it made him happy. I did not like the taste of buttermilk. Just, my grandfather, he could just get a glass of buttermilk and drink it, Tracy. You ever mm. taste the buttermilk? Mm hmm To drink. It is I mean, not I a tasted good thing, it before. Okay. But if you use it for like fried chicken and stuff like that, pork chop side, please. You can't beat it then. Ooh, Andrea. Tracy, I gotta read this. Why do I have this song stuck in my head? Okay, go ahead, and then I'll tell you what song is stuck in my Andre head. Andre said, did I tell you guys that my son across the street is now on this side of the street? Well, we have to talk. I went to get my leftover fish for lunch, and guess what? It wasn't there. Mm. Oh, Ooh. Junior White. He gonna get it. You are history, okay? <laughs> Now, what song are you singing? I forgot. I know. I feel I started to make you go. I forgot. I forgot. Gosh, what was it? I'm going to remember once I get off this live. I'm going to remember. Y'all, I cannot believe that. How many hours is done right now? You have one minute left. Unbelievable. So, let's see. I got a yellow one here. Where's all the, I need a dark, dark pink, like. Man, that's terrible. Nail. a dark pink. She hated peanut butter, but she was forced to eat it. Mm. Maybe she was allergic. Oh, my she goodness. It doesn't take much. You, you can eat just a smidgen of, of something like that. If you're allergic to it, that could be it. <laughs> Stay Kamina, you I see, remember the song. Um, Kamina is quite happy. Now, you have to be a crafter to understand her joy. If Kamina's song is a, a crafter, she says, I just completed my first toilet paper flower. <laughs> You tell that to the average person, they look at you like, what? <laughs> and you're happy about that? Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying to me? <laughs> Dawn said, good job, Carmina, on the toilet paper flower. She tell Hector that he'll like, okay, uh, don't, don't tell our friends, okay? We are striving for <laughs> We are, are moving into a new <laughs> realm of toilet paper flowers, okay? GG. Why y'all making that? It's every 10 o'clock, Tracy. Now, every time I see this, okay? M I C K E Y M O U S E. Huh? What was the name of the song that I was what? I don't know. thinking of? Gosh. Uh... Oh, I got it. Y'all like, man, she remembered already. <laughs> Step right up. Hurry, hurry. Before the show begins, my friends, stand in line. De -de 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 -de. I forgot the rest of the words. I, I hope you will It only costs you 50. Descends to see. No doubt about it. 
Satisfaction guaranteed. So let the side show begin. Hurry, hurry, step right on in. Can't afford to pass you by. Guaranteed to make you cry. Chris, <laughs> Tracy, if you mess this up, I'm telling Steve. Uh oh. <laughs> Chris, I tried to call Steve a while back. Then that's Tracy. I couldn't mm, get him. Sure did. I tried it about five times. I said, "Well, I'll leave a message for Steve." Okay, let me show y'all my prep work for the for the video tutorial. I had to do the. Um, I'm gonna show y'all that before we go. Yeah, I'll let you get it. So I don't grab it. Y'all are gonna make these little toilet paper uh, things. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Y'all gonna post them in the group. <laughs> John Pound, some of how about your your rendition of Rapture by Anita Baker? I tell you what, we watching. We were watching Anita Baker. <laughs> How many of y'all seen Anita Baker lately? <laughs> lately? What's going on? Okay. Have y'all seen her lately? Oh my goodness, the concert. She. she Have y'all seen her live concerts? She's been doing some stuff. Anita, <laughs> Anita what's going on? Doing... Bill, you better stop for Anita to come for us. She's been okay. <laughs> Hold on. I, the, the audience needs a security guard to protect them from Anita, just about. Okay. <laughs> Amy Cave says she's going to make these toilet paper. Beats in um <laughs> and tell all her friends she's gonna make it in lavender and blue. <laughs> and then you're gonna pick it up like this and hold your pinky out. See my toilet paper. Mm. This is paper beads. Haven't heard that song in a long time. You know, show somebody that they're gonna be like, you know what? I'm so glad I'm not a crafter. Okay, so the I'm making this is my preparation for making that cascading card. I keep calling it cascading, the stadium card. The stadium wave card, Bill. So here's my prep work for it. So this is what it's gonna look like. Just giving y'all a preview. So I cut out all the pieces already in advance. So Y'all was talking about the butterflies, so guess what? It's going to have the double butterfly, so this is going to be the straight tutorial for that stadium wave card. So imagine those butterflies are going to go in there. I'm going to do the complete uh, tutorial. I was thinking of doubling up this like this, maybe. I'm not sure. Ooh, somebody said cookies and cream dessert. Amy Kay. I mean, I think Amy Kay can, can cook. I've heard her talk enough. Where I'm like, Amy. Okay, so for this, okay, so what I did was I printed out a bunch of digital butterflies, right? So the digital butterflies is the um, spread your wings. So that way I could just, you know, and then I colored them using the um, Adaxi markers. She'll tell you during the and the master's touch, but I'll yeah, I'm going to tell you during the tutorial because this will be a straight tutorial. So this is the color scheme that I'm going with for this. This is going to be the six by six uh, wave card. Let me get me one of those over there. And I cut this part off of here. I think I might use this on the inside. I'm not sure yet, but you see how this is. Right, so either I'm going to kind of take this and join it up to make the cover, I'm not sure, or I might just take this and put it on the inside. I won't know until till I do the tutorial. And then I think the butterflies are going to be so cute on here. I doubled up. I could have just done like one butterfly, but I thought doubling them up is going to be so cute. So I'm going to do a combination of butterflies, flowers, no, it, it won't be a live. Little mini butterflies. It's going to be a tutorial that she's going to record. I'm going to record the tutorial. I was just doing all the prep work for it just so that it can go like a little bit faster. So this is the new Mother's Day. Um, this is actually the Mother's Day stamp set.
photo polymer stamp set that's in the store. This one, these butterflies, see how small they are and some are large? I use the digital of the spread your wings. So these came from the spread your wings um, stamp set. And then this one, I forgot which stamp set it came from. I gotta go look it up. This is a digital also. Spring Blossom, Spring Blossom stamp set. So this will be the Spring Blossom. Oh, get out of here, back. Oh my goodness, Amy, how incredible. <laughs> what, what Amy say? She said, Tracy, you're working on the uh, craft roulette card, blues and greens and pinks for the Northern Lights colors, the stadium wave for the action, and the black uh, for the back, oh, for the blackboard. Oh my goodness, that is so incredible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there you go. Yo, look at y'all pointing that out to me. So that's gonna be so pretty on here. So I had to resize the butterflies because I want them to really kind of pop when I put them on there. <coughs> so imagine having like you know, alternating some of these, you know. Hey, Trace. Huh? This one is the um, digital for the, you're trying to wonder oh, what this is? your wings. This is the spread your wings digital because okay. I was able to resize them. I wanted them to be some to be small, some to be large. Because I think this is going to go on the front let cover. Let me look it up real quick. It's going to be a front cover layout. But look how pretty that's going to be with the black border around it. You said it's on the digital one? Mm-hmm. Spread your wings digital. Mm -hmm. And then spring blossom, I use the digital. Oh, there's ovals in that one? The fourth parameter is ovals. Huh. Okay, well... Let's see. Hold up. Well, we'll figure that out next time. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Figure what out? Ovals. No, we were talking about the uh, craft roulette. Okay, let's see. Uh, you could put an oval sentiment. An oval sentiment would be good, huh? Okay. Here's the spread your wings. I was going to say. Uh, you could do an oval sentiment. Is the bottle shaped like an oval a little bit? Pat Kelly says... Is this shaped like an oval? <laughs> no, a circle, kind of. Pat Kelly it's says... It's a circle. I enjoyed the interaction with the group while working on my journals, but, but later today, I will make some toilet rolls. <laughs> well, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're happy no, that I, you were inspired, okay? I'm so glad you're taking it Positively to, the next, today. to the next level. Make those toilet rolls. You and Carmina... I'm just thinking that for the oval, look, y'all got me just doing kidding, y'all. Thinking about craft roulette stuff now. Hmm. Kamina says, I may never look at toilet paper the same way. We are never going to look at that. Somebody going to get an ornament. Somebody going to get an ornament, okay? That's it's just saying. Vicky Jensen. It could be something like this, right? <laughs> Kathy C says she made four cards today. I love it. Using the digital mix. mix uh, me, me, mixed media journal cards and shabby chic journaling. Oh, that's what it was. I need to show y'all something. The new paper, the artsy paper. We got a new um, fun, funky doodle. <laughs> Look, we're going from funky doodle digital. <laughs> Don't say that. What? Funky doodle. <laughs> what? I said doodle. <laughs> you, you hearing it wrong? <laughs> Where's it at, Trace? Downstairs? You like doodling? <laughs> <laughs> you may have to make it in conjunction with your toilet paper rolls. Okay, Tracy, where's it at? Oh, my goodness. Bill, stop. Don't say anything else, okay? Uh, Don't okay. say another word. Just don't say anything else, dear. Yes, Amy K, it's doodling. <laughs> Tracy's just not acting right. No, because y'all talking about toilet paper. You know? 
Well, probably because you put funky and noodling <laughs> in the same sentence. And it kind of takes our imagination down the wrong road. <laughs> Oh Bye, God. Eileen. More Eileen has to go. That's like kids kind of stuff. Oh my goodness, Gooby, stop! Gooby, stop barking at strawberry. That's why you get. Oh, let me look, Amy. In the ovals and the messages above, let me look for them. Oh my goodness. Okay, Amy Kane says the tulip petals have an oval shape. They sure do. They sure do. Well, there you go. Now Tracy's no, she's it's not a bathroom break. She's going to get the uh that paper. I didn't want to say. Emily said she didn't went to the game, drove, watched it, came back, and we are still here. Amy, I mean Emily, did, did he win? Hey Tracy. Chris will say the doodle rolls come in a kit with two rolls of toilet paper. Bye, Vicky Jensen. Vicky's like, I'm out of here, okay? Sonia Creole said something. What kind of rolls you got? Sonia Creole talking about, I, I just took out some old rolls that are tough to be in. I don't know if you want to use those. You might scrape the skin off, okay? Oh, my goodness. Y'all are too funny. soccer game is over, Trace. What? And she came home. Already? Wait a minute. How long is the soccer game? Hmm. Apparently not as long as it's live. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all have a good one, okay? Y'all over there just laughing and carrying on. Oh, one? these are the ones that... Um, so it's it? all right. Cause it's, no, I get it. No, it's fine. Is it downstairs? It is. I get it. I think we'll do something with this on Tuesday um, with the new with the new paper. I think it'll be fun. I had to print. We had to print them out again because we didn't print them um, borderless. So y'all know how I love uh, to doodle. <laughs> mm. I just can't get away from it, okay? <sighs> so, that's what inspired the paper. This is what, my desk is a mess. Oh, I gotta stay up here and clean up some stuff. Okay. This is what inspired the paper. Very artsy black and whites with a little bit of beige in there. Tina Sanchez. Y'all are so welcome. But I thought it'd be fun to have something artsy that you can make cards with. Or even do like some kind of, like a contemporary kind of art type thing for these. Look at that. And this just reminded me of back in the day. Oh, that was the extra one. That was y'all saw that one already. Back in the day when you would just take a marker, a sharpie, whatever, and do something like these. Jesus says, I love these. Look how gorgeous those are. Andrew says those are like make nice journal covers. These would make beautiful journal covers. Look at this one right here. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I put the link for those so you can take a closer look if you like. Look at this one right here. I think this might be my one of my favorites. 
DX is Zentangle, can I? Oh, yes, yes, yep. But I used to like to take my pencils and just shade different things in with them. Wait a minute, I think this might have been a repeat on this. Yeah, that's a repeat no, on that one. Is this it? one right here, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, that, those, oh, those two. Okay. Oh, these two are the ones. These, these two, also. Right here. Okay, these two. Okay. Yeah, so you're right. I have a lot of paper to work with here. Yes, retro. Yep, that's the word I was looking for. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And I'm thinking you could do masculine cards with these, too. You could do masculine cards. I think these look pretty with, like, a red something somewhere on there. I don't know. The, to me, these are the kind of like backgrounds you use when you just all of a sudden have a just a, a incredible something. splash right. of color. Yes, yep. So these, I wanted something very unique, uh, something that was like something that you normally would not see, you know. So again, going back to that, doing the thing that most won't do, and that something like this, I thought would be nice. And I know we have a lot of you on here that like like to do doodling and stuff like that. So how gorgeous is that? And then I figured, hey, it would be nice to have a few of these where you could just cut them out and make smaller, smaller ephemera from these. What size are the pages? These are eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by 11. So lots to work with on these. These are going to be so fun. And so you could even take your marker and just do certain colors of this. If you just want to add a little bit of color to it, just take a marker and just add little elements of color into it if you want, if you want to do that. But I, I think black and white cards are so elegant. Joy Brown. Oh, I have two of those. Joy Brown. I just put the link right up. Just scroll backwards and you'll see the link. The Funky Doodle Digital Collection. You can't make this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the link again. This is the Funky Doodle Digital Collection. No, no this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin it to the top of the page. Okay, then you have some smaller elements if you want to layer some of these or you want to put a sentiment on, cut these out and put a sentiment on these. Ooh, y'all are going to love these. You're going to love working with these. But there it is. I'll put it there again, just in case. Joy Brown says, thanks. She's getting it right now. Look at that. Is, are these not going to be fun? Because we're used to having the colored papers, but I want to kind of mix it up so that, you know, many of you are challenged with uh, making masculine cards, but these don't have to be masculine. You can add some color into them to make them fem feminine. You know, you can put, you could add, take your browns and make browns out of, you know, like, or grays if you want to make it more masculine. You know, so the, the possibilities are endless with these. Right, these won't run out. Exactly, because they're digital. <laughs> How gorgeous is that, though? I'm, I'm, I'm real excited about these. I want to cut into them like right now. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and, and head off of here. Uh, we'll work with these on, on Tuesday. We can make do some mass, mass card making yeah. on these. Yeah. But right. these would be beautiful as a journal. Chris would say you can even watercolor in the colors. Yes, you sure can. Yep. All right. Thank you, Selena. Thank you, Selena. Thank you, Gay Ten. Gigi, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all.
it's been fun. We've had it. We had a good time with y'all as usual. And I'm actually energized right now. I have to go downstairs and bake that cake. <laughs> Thank you, Pat Kelly. <sighs> I'm your wife. Said, we miss y'all already. Okay, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. And guess what? Be the unique individual that you are. Right? Bill, you have to call Steve, too. It looks like Steve had sent you a message. Be the wonderful individuals that you are. Do the thing that most people won't do. And right now, y'all are doing the thing that most people won't do. And I appreciate y'all staying with us, taking the time to spend your time with us. Just for a few laughs, chit-chatting. I feel like I've been with friends, and I just I feel the love. You know, that's that's it. I feel the love, okay? <laughs> Y'all take care and have a good rest of the weekend. Bye.